It's the return of the slop. <laughs> the slop stream. You got a theme song going. Slop stream. The slop stream. Yeah. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> we sloppy. How's it going, everyone? Once again. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Why? Why would you? You know, you put the affectation on the voice of anyway. You know what? It's a one hit wonder, right? That's that's why. You th- you sing a little weird one time. It's catchy enough. Mm-hmm. Damn, you go down in you history. Got that voice going. What is the Mac up to these days? <laughs> what I don't know. Is he still getting money? You know what? You know whatever happened to the Mac? That's the that is the question. I'd like to know. As I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> Get light to my. Oh God. Um, voices. Yeah. La bomba. Sensual. Yeah. How you doing, everybody? Welcome. Um, beautiful day today. Nice and sunny. Got to let some of the sun in, and uh, a perfect day to to ignore. The wonderful weather and the sounds of joyous neighborhood outside yeah. going on. Life. Life is happening. Uh-huh. You know, people are walking around. Kids are playing. Things are going on. And we're in here to watch the shit that you sent us. Oh, boy. Because we got nothing better to do with our time. Y'all are playing nice. You're sending some good stuff today. I hope so. I... I can see the grass. It's right there. There's grass right there waiting to be touched. There's green. Greenery. But we're here. Not even a fucking blade. Not a single touch. Not a graze. The grass remains untouched. <laughs> it's right. It's literally right there. But no. This is what we do. That's all right. That's all right. Um, You know. We'll just have to um, fucking I have some kind of summer. Yes. <laughs> summer of Wooly. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Is it still white boy summer? Um, can I? Uh, can I? Can can, this, can I? Yeah. Can, like I'm peeking out. Like is it, is it? Can we? Can we? Is the is the coast clear or is it still white boy summer? <laughs> If it's not white boy summer anymore, then the coast is clear. Then I think uh, it'll, it can be summer of wooly. But as long as it's still white boy summer, I'm not looking to go into any aggro zones. I see. You know. <laughs> Are there any lurking hanks <laughs> wandering about? Is it safe? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um. Yeah. 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 What is up, guys? Did some people say that I was peeking again? Are you serious? <sighs> Yeah, so I had some um, to to not go down that road again. I, uh, there was a uh, every from what I can tell, there's the, I can't seem to identify the problem anywhere okay. in the setup. Um, with the podcast setup, we had some mic issues as well, so oh. I just had to order a new microphone, and that seems to be the only fix. And um, I have to okay Does configure that. Work? that. Uh, I mean, it it probably will. For here, I don't know if it's the same type of thing, but it's not great. Um, I okay. Th- well, I, I yeah. yeah. I pulled the whole thing apart, and I cannot identify the problem. Okay. So this is where we're at. I don't want to cancel streams until no, that happens. No, 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 no. Okay. So this is kind of where we're at, unfortunately. Um, uh, but I can turn this on to minimize some of the background noise to some degree. So we'll put on the filter for now. Um, yeah. I don't want to have every stream yeah. start talking about this or whatever. Okay. It's just... So uh, hey. last time I mentioned it. Okay. Um, in the meantime, uh, yeah, we are back. We've got the submissions. We've got the uh, the data. And we're going to take a look at that in a second. But uh, first, Dova Dude, how you doing? Going to be out of town for my first con in years. Launch week for uh, Freak Fighter. If y'all could wait a bit before doing the fighting stream or even better do another one in the middle a couple of weeks it'll be cash money for your king wish me knock at north of high-end tech and locals oh boy okay well uh we're not gonna do that but um good luck 
I'm sure you'll be able to catch us uh, coming back around because we're going to probably play some Street Fighter for quite a bit. Oh. Um, you know, the work I'm currently planning a system that will involve uh, a regular amount of Street Fighter. Right. So, you know, we want to keep things uh, fun and, and, and keep some flexibility on the schedule a little bit. So I'm going to mess with a regular amount of Street Fighter um, when that comes out. Because I think um, what we kind of did last time is uh, we we strive dropped and then we just every Saturday for at least like three months was just we just striving, you know, and it was a good time. We have um, a good seven, eight, eight rounds, right? Something like that. Is that the count? No, I'm not sure how many rounds, but. And then every time we came back around it, when a new character dropped, plus, you know, diving in and stuff. So, yeah, we did that. And and I, I uh, want to figure out, uh, I think, that, you know, maybe we can find a way to keep the variety in while still getting in the uh, the fire that mm -hmm. we have to, to be playing, you know? So, um, yeah, stay tuned for some, some regular Street Fighter content uh, coming soon. Uh, Anonymous, how you doing? Damn, Luca's Mission Part Two coming out this week came out faster than Part One. Why not release them together? Oh well, at least it's fun. Uh, yeah, I bet you the fact that they're split up is probably just some kind of technical or just some kind of technical or so uh, uh, thing. Um, that case could have been like, but no, hold on, didn't they? Didn't wasn't there two stretch goals? Wasn't there like Part One and Part Two were separate stretch goals from each other? So like they both they they kind of worked on them both, but there needs to be some division to actually deliver on both of Kickstarter for Wonderful One Hundred One um, advertised. Uh, either way, it would be weird to like wait a year and then have another one deliver, right? Like so, yeah, not surprising there. Mordecai, how you doing? Watching the Mortal Kombat clip. Want to say reminder: MK versus DC considered mk8 and the story itself has a timeline reboot and the world merger meaning that mk1 is not the second reboot in the timeline but the third reboot timeline mk's whole timeline is just factory reset is that in fact the story of mkdc that that's mk8 and there's a full reset in that plot as well i don't know that i ever went through it to, to, to learn that wow Holy shit. I didn't shit. know that. <laughs> so wait, so then that means that canonically, the MK8 world... Well, the MK8 characters are the are the characters that came from the Deadly Alliance Deception Armageddon uh, uh, games, right? So 5, 6, and 7, then the characters from 8 are from that world. So then... If MK versus DC is actually that canon, then that is the end of the first timeline. So the DC characters are canonically included at the end of the original timeline referenced in MK9. Is that what we're learning here? Does that sound correct? I mean, Mordecai, you can't just drop some shit like that in the and the, and, and the he must win part with Raiden and Shao Kahn is clearly a reference to mk7 armageddon so if mk8 d is supposed to be canon in there how does it fit into a you know what do we how do we yeah so i don't know i don't know mk8 is armageddon okay well yeah do we we don't have any mk lore experts here to like <laughs> you just just hold the block button and cower yeah, all right. I went through it and I forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because oh yeah, you did when we were yeah, when, when we were watched the LP, things. you did yeah. catch up right okay. on the lore. That's true. Yeah, yeah. But it's MK. <laughs> because I have a problem with this. Yeah, because if Mordecai is saying that technically MK versus DC is considered MK eight and that that is a reboot in a, in and of itself, then that would mean that. That, then that doesn't go hand in hand with MK9 and Armageddon being linked together because the moment Raiden dies in MK9, or rather in the intro to MK9 story, that's referencing the Armageddon Tower without the DC characters being involved. So there's a there's a there's a pocket that that doesn't get addressed. You know, we kind of go Armageddon Tower and then we go around and then we hit MK9. These are the important questions that we have to ask. Or not. 
we cannot move forward until we know. <laughs> I refuse <laughs> to move forward until we know. <laughs> I'm moving forward. Yeah. Right. I love it when I ask a question and then I pause and then you're like, I oh, don't fucking know. <laughs> and I look over here and the collective scroll is like, bro. <laughs> just. Can, bro, we, we don't know, man. Like, continue the show. <laughs> Who continue cares, the dude? show, please. Fatality. Continue the show. <laughs> like, Fatality. Just, what you, yeah. Who cares, bro? Yeah. Well, Mordecai. You know, these are the these are the questions, man. Oz Rabbit, how you doing? Finally, the slop is back. Can't tell you how much I missed this. Good luck. Have fun. Hopefully, you'll both manage to come out relatively unscaled by the end of the list. I'm feeling like it'll be okay. I'm feeling like uh, it'll yeah. I'm I'm ready for it. Just remember, right? Both arms open. Accept the arc. Yeah. Embrace it. Yeah. All right. You gotta you gotta get it. Have the right attitude. Uh, game hog nineteen woolly versus. <laughs> yeah, right on. That's yeah. where you are. Keep that energy. I like it. <laughs> That's right. What's going on? What's up? Message. What? It's us. That's the channel. All right, come right along. We're here. Uh, not a callus. How you doing? Hey, Willie and Reggie. Hope it's going well. Taking a break from watching Combo Breaker to catch a slot bucket being oh. dumped out live. Have a good one. Embrace the garbage. It's true. Indeed. Unfortunately, another Combo Breaker we could not make it to, but that's okay. They didn't have six. So maybe next year will maybe be good. Next year. I keep saying with it. With your sick master rank Blanca. Modern Blanca? <laughs> master Modern? Oh my god. Modern Master? <laughs> yeah. The Modern Masters have arrived. <laughs> Blanca. Walking up in the fucking... Luke. In the do, 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 do. Yep. The whole heroes are the here. Modern Masters. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm gonna come to Combo Breaker eventually, right? And I was saying that forever, and I really did mean for it to happen, but life, like for four years, it like literally, yes. And then obviously, like this summer has been like b buying a house and fucking, yeah. you know, weight Things loss programs, so I can't possibly get to it this year, but I definitely want to do that in CEO. Um, welcome aboard. War Dog Leader 15, how you doing? Happy 34. Holy cow, the time flies. Indeed it does. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Trailer, how you doing? The There's slop no. must flow. Fuck the spice. We need to trade in slop. Uh, Deus Meister, how you doing? You ready for some high quality slop? Who's ready? We are. That's, that's what we do. Uh, there's always there's always a there's always a come to Jesus somewhere yeah. during these, you know? I kinda like to pretend that it's not coming, but we all know it's coming. Shadows of Pain, how you doing? That makes three years. Let's go. Thirty six months. Thank yeah. you so much for riding with us. Appreciate you. Ride or die. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you enjoy the show. Uh much more to come. Thanks for sharing the slow and inevitable March of aging on stream for us to see. Having fun shoveling through the slop. Uh, hopefully, there's something that'll make Reggie cringe out his soul again, like the Sonic Girls video. Have fun, you two. Yeah, people are definitely going to start targeting. You know, we've done this a couple times, so there's like, ooh, we've collected data. Yeah. And they're like, oh, 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 yeah, I see. Okay. Right here. Yeah. You like so to... This list is, I have nothing that I should be afraid of. Right? We don't know what this is going to be, but I suspect this list is like, Oh, you like to press buttons right here, do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Suppressor. Uh -huh. Yep. No, no, like, uh, mm -hmm. I wonder what's going to come. Something targeted. I only got, I got hurt once. I think it's like, it's fine, right? One time is not too bad. I'm pretty strong or otherwise. You know, I showed weakness once. It's fine. You showed weakness once. Once is enough. Once is too much. Download complete. <laughs> Never show weakness. <laughs> 
Lion Kun, how you doing? Hey, Wooly, your recent question on how Gundams look cooler when damage is totally on point. Double Zero is my favorite Gundam series, and it has some of my favorite characters. Lock on, Stratos for the win. Storytelling and action scenes, but what really cinches it for me is the Gundam designs. Exia is my favorite Gundam design, and the repair one is by far the best version of it. Reggie, you should do yourself a favor and look up a picture. Damaged face, missing its arm in the cape. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, so we were talking about, about um, mecha stuff, and I answered a question and basically said that every Gundam looks better when it's partially um, destroyed. And um, yeah, everyone went Exia, repair. And it's like, yep, that's a good one. They're all good. Literally every single Gundam looks better when it's damaged. This is this is the rule. The, um, the clean... Which, which number of repair... Um, well, it's from Double Gundam one, Double Zero. One, two, three, four. But, you know, Repair One. Repair sure. One. Mm -hmm. Images. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a Gundam. Oh, shit. That's a cool one. Cape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah that's, that looks badass. Fabric on, fabric on Gundam. Fabric on a Gundam. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that's the thing, though. So you, you, you look up Crossbone, right? And you get yourself a big old Pirate X, but you get draped cloth over it. Oh. Right, that's that's the shit right there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, 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 yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so the comparison point for what you're talking about, Lion Kun, it's important because there's a lot of regular Gundams Reggie hasn't seen, so there's no comparison point, right? But yeah, for sure. And I don't remember much from M Bond matches that I played with Wooly. Yeah, so uh hefesta forges how you doing hey wolves and reggie hope you're having a nice day with the starting of the slop i'll manage to get ff6 uh, if i manage to get ff6 you'll certainly see a brazilian ken trying to fight their way out of scrub tier looking forward to let's it let's go get those dragon lashes in mm -hmm. is there a, a rank lower than iron i saw there was an iron rank apparently in uh -oh. six. below bronze apparently uh, I didn't know that. Unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken. The tutorial shows you the full list, doesn't it? Doesn't it have a picture of like... It's rookie? Oh, it's rookie. Rookie. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit nicer than saying iron. <laughs> that's a, you know... I mean, I feel like dropping the metal grade to like fucking, you know... um, Like the shittiest type of metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's not great. Just... Oh, rookie iron, bronze, silver, gold. Okay. Wow. So there's iron. Okay, there is in fact. Yeah. It's Isn't wood, it like, plastic. I think there's plywood. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a plywood rank. What's the metal they use in Brawl Allah? I think it's tin. Okay. I think they use sure. tin. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, what is the most like un impure, mixed, <laughs> just like bastard metal, you know, that like is completely bendy? Foil. Aluminium. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, guys. At a certain point, it's just, com it's beyond insulting, you know. Styrofoam, actually. I'm a styrofoam rank oh, player. Yeah. Um, Breakdown, you can't recycle me. Looking to work my way up <laughs> to cardboard. Not the wet kind. Um... Prow Tellen, how you doing? Hey, I'm just writing a long message that everybody can read, hoping that someone will read this before they waste their time. If I see you, yes, you behind your computer screen, still staring and reading this thing that has so little value. Thanks for being here with me the entire message. You're the real one. We were there. Sure. Appreciate the resub. We were there, Pro Tellen. You can you can put whatever words you want to in that box. Uh that is that is entirely up yeah. to you. Uh, Moon River 420. What's up? My brain melting trying to learn Asuka. I hope you guys have fun with the slop today. I'm eagerly awaiting your return to Strive. Oh, yeah. I've seen some clips. Shout outs to Max Tension launch. And then he does one of the spells in the draw in the dust and he just like summons a bunch of boxes. And it's the same kind of boxes, too. It's Yo, like, guess what? Yo, UPS ding dong. <laughs> Huh? Who's there? Hello? <laughs> Sign here, please. Slash. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Just moving. <the> <laughs> it was uh, some fun clips coming out of that. Yeah. Alyssa Donut, good morning. How you doing? Zan's son. Hey, Wooly Reggie. And chat. How you doing? Major Crasher. Hey, Wooly. Did you see that Dokupon Kingdom Connect came out? Yes. I know you probably have a lot of other things planned ahead of you, but do you think there might be eventually a third gig? Not of the same game that we've already played. So, 
Um, yeah. Dokomog Kingdom Connect is not a new Dokopon. It's the exact same game we've already played. So, uh, yeah, you know, just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Kimbucha, how you doing? Thanks for the fun times. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And we've got up. Are you ready for this? How's a body check? Fluids? Yes, it's time to embrace. Open the up. Okay, okay, all right. Embrace. All right. Wide stance. Get leg the legs, legs spread. Legs. Legs, leg, and then just. I mean, I, you don't have to stick the, the, the feet up completely. Oh, okay. You I can, can just. I can let them down. You can just, you know, but just get a wide stance. Right. And just embrace whatever is coming. Mm. This is what my art teacher told me. He said, you go to the museum, you stand back, you look, and you have a, a posture that says, I am inviting in whatever it is we're about to see. Like inviting a vampire. Like inviting a vampire. You're almost praising the sun, but you're not praising the sun. You're just... Praising you're, the art. You're just, you're inviting in whatever it is. Right? All right. All right. Whatever may come, come what may. We, we accept it. Obama the Hedgehog, it's slop o'clock. It's slop o'clock. <laughs> Change out these headphones. Put on these ones. Get my snorkel. <laughs> Snorkeling in the slop. Let's see it. All right. So the data says this. Thank you very much. We've everyone. got a yes, uh, hearty thanks, of course, to uh, the mod crew who've been taking a look. As uh -huh. and uh, Manita and all all the, the the full the full crew, everyone that's been helping out with the uh, the watching and the the submissions. So we've got data. The data says that we have uh, about eleven point three percent FGC. Similar with the animation, we've got game memes coming in at 15%, 16% shit posts, 5.1% oh, IRL, 7.3 TV, okay. YouTubers at 8.2, oh. animals, a little animals, bit. Animals, we love animals. Racial humor has its own category, 2.2. 2. 2. 2. Uh, kind, of, uh, kind of low, I would expect yeah, a bit more. Trailers, 1.3, that's, oh. that, that, that's about right. That's I mean, a throwing a, it's, it's a real bold move to just throw a trailer in, right? That's a real bold move to just be like, watch a trailer for something. Mm -hmm. But it has gotten, it has been interesting sometimes. Right. Um, gameplay. Also interesting. Like, so this is like, again, bold move, yes, yes. right? Because it's like, is it just a combo video? Because I mean, that could ultra be. Kill, you know? it, yeah, but it's like, it's, it's not necessarily going to be like hilarious. It'll just probably be like, oh, that's some cool gameplay. That's cool, yeah. And there's not much to it. So that's a bold percentage that a lot of people have in, 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 engaged in it wouldn't be my first thing in my to mind to be like hey check out just some raw gameplay of mm -hmm. something but uh well we are gamers surrounded by gamers so this this, this is true let's let's eat what's being slopped right you don't get to, to pick your slop you eat the slop you eat it but you get you get you certainly get to talk about it while you're consuming <laughs> it yes yes uh and then we get cringe coming in at 2.3 and lore at 1.6 mm -hmm. so that's interesting that's interesting. The slop is lumpy. All right. So last time, of course, we also had the Reddits clushing out one point victory. One point. 108 to 109 was the previous score. Let's see if we can't uh, see if Twitter can't bring it back this time around. So who's it going to go to? Should we just go by like... You know, loser starts, or should we flip a coin? Call it in the air. We'll go. We'll go with loser starts. We'll give it. We'll give it the the Twitter. We'll give Twitter a head, the head start loser since they were losing starts, last time. Loser advantage. All right. Okay. This Reddit was crushing it last time. See, winner stays on as a rule, but but winner also has to is stuck with their character. Loser mm -hmm. gets that advantage to be able to change, yeah. right? So. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not playing snooker here. There you go. Or one person can just like sit with their on with their yep. stick and just literally I never. Lose. GG's. Good GG's. games. Nice. That was fun. Well, I showed meet. up. Yep. 
<laughs> Savage sport. All right. It's Team Blue Twitter. Linus nearly destroys the company. Let's start that over again. Sort of. YouTube finally relaxes yeah. their overly restrictive profanity policy. Sort oh of. boy. So does that mean I can say words like f and f Yeah, so I think so. The the sort of is that it's relaxed, it's not gone. Uh, I think some people oh. interpret this as like, oh, we can just do whatever we want now. It's like, no, it's not gone. Do it's go just on. Chill it out so a many bit. fun words, uh, right? James has a note here that on Thursday we had a short circuit video receive limited monetization because the host said penis lamp at the twenty three second mark. Penis what? lamp. Penis lamp. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, we're in trouble, my We friend. currently have Disco Elysium shit make, getting flagged. Elaborate dude. on this? Nope, no one gets any topic information at all. Never mind. Uh, recap. In November, YouTube changed its advertiser-friendly guidelines to be... Well, this means that this video is going to be... Uh, I can't repeat what they're saying. And we'll they're saying things. 3.30. Start me out to talk about stuff. Okay, well, I'm glad that I heard about that lamp. <laughs> we got it in. It's been kind of, uh, it's been kind of eye-opening. I, I've, I've just sort of randomly here and there picked up episodes of, you know, old shows that I hadn't watched in a long time from like the early 2000s. And oh boy. just the casual, um, the, the casual sort of gay humor, casual use of the hard R. Um, oh, really? It's yeah. jarring. Yeah, it's, it's jarring now. And for, Casual use of hard R. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, like okay, uh, it was an episode of American Dad. And it was just really? like, yeah, it wasn't for shock value. It was just, just like, used. Whoa. Right? Well, I mean, here's the thing, right? That was in the 2003 or something. Like, you know, that casual use. Like, I'm not going to deny that I dropped my fair share of hard R's back then because we didn't even, the, the term hard R didn't even exist. Hmm. <laughs> we didn't think about it, right? And it's funny because to it me, it was back in the that days. Doesn't feel like that long ago, but to my <laughs> kids, are you talking like N-word hard R? What? No. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's how people use that term. No, I think that's so. the N-word. No, the other one. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? The R-word. You need to I define so. the limits. <laughs> no, the, the one, the one with the, uh, with, like for like mental disability. I'm pretty sure people use oh, hard R in a very Jesus different way. Jesus Christ, dude! You, you have to define oh. things. You have to define I, things. Hard R means ending I understand, the I understand, with a hard R. I understand what you mean. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay, cool. So, I'm glad that I'm we I'm freaking have Neo that over here, dude. We're dodging bullets. That yeah. was bad. His face, though. Okay, yes. His face was like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Right, I forgot about the part where I said, it's "Yeah, I just hard like, R." Yeah. It depends on your era. See, so like he didn't know, and he didn't know. That but Re Reggie, question: Is this video in black and white? <laughs> Were any of these gentlemen around during the Great Depression? <laughs> no, no. And okay, it seems to be higher than 480p as well. Okay, all yeah. right, just checking. That being said, 2003, I mean, yeah, if, if... Oh, I remember 2003, those nice years. Sure, absolutely. Coming out of high school, you know, full of hope, first, first time on message boards. Now, well, this is what are, this is where I'm going. I'm saying, uh, uh, the casual dropping perhaps depends on your friend group, mm -hmm. perhaps a lot less, bunch of white boys, uh -huh. right? Definitely possible, depends that on the environment. Happen. Yeah. Typing. All day. Yeah. All day. Real easy. Right? Real quick. Scroll right past the, the, the trip code. Uh-huh. And you paste it on fucking whatever uh -huh. board you're in. B. Maybe a hotkey. You know? You know? Yeah. Just control V. Right? You know, oh, course. yeah. All day. Right? That's how that was. Okay. Uh, no, uh, actually. <laughs> I was pretty surprised with American Dad, and then you were like, "Yeah, me too." I was like, "Whoa!" Okay. Yeah, no, you've All known right. me a long time. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, and yeah, never been a problem. No. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. <All right. laughs>
We can breathe. Everything's okay. Cool. All so right. I hope um, everyone likes not having a job anymore on Monday, <laughs> because apparently I'm a giant racist. We, did, we didn't lose our money in the in the bank crash. The yeah, bank no. Run. <laughs> in the audience run. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. okay. We're good. Cool. Um, so anywho, <laughs> the point is that to like to my kids, 2002, 2003 is a long time oh, ago. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, 10 years before I was born. 1976 is a long time ago to me. It's all it's all relative. I think right? so, it's like, yeah, peace and love, hippies. <laughs> like that that's a world that never coexist I never coexisted with. Right. Right? And so it was it was just it was interesting to me how jarring it was even though like I said to me people casually using the r word then is that better? I think so. Okay, <laughs> casually using the r word was there, that's it, the yeah, yeah, it was, that, it was surprising. yeah okay, all there right. You, you you have to get your correct uh euphemisms. Right, exactly. <laughs> because even those start to get complicated and confusing as it offends some as we go on. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> You you might. Oh uh, God! Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Man, that guy was sweating. Language is difficult. Nomenclature is hard. It's actually very easy, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Hi, folks. That might have missed the beginning. I have. I'm aware of the peaking. Uh, I can. I can pause right now and try to. Like, you know what? I can. Literally, yeah, I can try to swap to that oh. mic, but I don't know that's going to make a difference. I, um, Something's happening that's unidentifiable. That is deeply like probably going to have to order a new microphone. I don't think I can fix it. I'll try not to laugh or be too loud. Well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll try. I'll try. I'll. I'll give it a shot. I'll see if it works. But if it's happening on yours and mine, then it means it's not necessarily an individual issue. It's probably something rooted. But when I went through all that, I could not fucking. I couldn't find it. It's. it's no, it's both. It's both. I've seen for me. I've seen for you as well. You guys say Reggie's good so far, but the, for the what this happened a couple of streams ago is definitely. It, was I saw it right? at the beginning of the stream. That's why I said, "Oh, is it peaking a bit?" Okay, okay. So I see some of you saying that, but you probably missed what was happening before. I'm gonna give it a swap try one more time, and I'll see if this works. I'll pull in a different mic entirely, uh, but uh, this is a deeper, larger issue. So, all right. Just a second.
All right, I'm on a different microphone. Hopefully this nets better results. Uh, it doesn't seem to be popping up when we're talking normally anyway, so we'll just have to proceed and see if we catch it in the um, escalation. All right, cool. Uh, quick pop off. Oh, oh no! What? Wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll be good. Okay. Speak a little, I'll manage. Yeah. So that means something's happening deep, you know? But, all right. Uh, here we are. Linus, good job. Good job, Linus. Michael Scott in Mass Effect. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. This came the most. Yeah. Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. Yeesh. I'm sure. guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. That's what she said. <laughs> God help us all. Yeah, these have been popping up, and these edits have been just like ridiculous. They didn't work. <laughs> People say I am the best boss. They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious, and you get the best out of us. Um, Michael Shepard. I think. That pretty much sums it up. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! <laughs> What's the procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay <laughs> calm! <laughs> How is it so well done? Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Well done. Yes, I was the first one out. And yes, I've heard women and children first. But we do not employ children. We are not a sweatshop, thankfully. And uh, women are equal in the workplace by law. Just hit me. You'll see. Okay, look. All right, come on. Oh, fuck. I live by one rule. No office romances. No way. Very messy, inappropriate. No. <laughs> but I live by another rule. Just do it. Thank you. My sister is safe again, thanks to you. Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you see what? Wow. You're in there. You're in we... there, Mike. Ah, well, Jan didn't believe in showing affection, so sometimes I don't know how to react when her girl touches me. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have to take a break from being the kind of boss that's always trying to Bullshit. teach people uh -huh. things. Sometimes you have to just be the boss of dancing. Spoilers. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I appreciate that, Commander. I really do. Maybe we could go out for a beer sometime, and you could tell me how you do that to another dude. I don't know. Maybe. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Um, I have done some very bad I figured things. It out. Things of which I am not proud. And I vow to never listen to my bodily instincts ever again isn't it true that you were on earth when the reapers attacked oh okay i was talking about that what it, what what's going on <laughs> uh amazing that works Eli really well. had yeah, just uh, yeah the, i mean the second that popped up on twitter i think we all saw yeah. it but uh good shit Hey, look, some shades of f some familiar, familiar tones. Yeah, yeah, I think he's a good boss. I think he deserves that mug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, All right. World's best boss. I'm the universe's best boss. You know? Sure. Absolutely. We'll see what happens. Corone <laughs> said, feel free to wreck me. So a pro player immediately joins and wrecks her. She likes the tech. Wow, I'm getting a little bit of a tie. 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 I'm getting a little bit of a t
Yeah, she was playing Street Fighter V and Street Fighter VI as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I would reinstall Street Fighter VI? Five? Oh, yeah, five. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. You couldn't even say it. That's how much I forgot. <laughs> That's what I said. See, this is the right attitude to have, though. This is what you should be. You should be when you see something that is like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> I got destroyed. Yeah, she has the right attitude. I like. There you, that's that's. That's constructive. Rank one million six hundred and thirty-nine. Let's go. Take on the world. Versus rank 30 30. Okay. It's Amika. What's for breakfast? Set it up. Let's get one. Yep. 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 Of course not. Oh, it's really good. Uh. Oh, absolutely. She can't believe it. That's the Rainbow Mika right there. Nadeshko not even on deck. Oh, don't jump. Don't press buttons. Don't press buttons. Now don't stop pressing buttons because now that's when that comes. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. No Nadeshko didn't get hit enough. Didn't even didn't even build the the bar. I love how amazed she is. Stop mashing until you get thrown on wake up, then start mashing again. Yeah. Oh. See everybody, learn from Corone. Learn from this attitude. That was so good. She's having so much fun. Yeah. Imagine how much fun she'll have with Street Fighter 6. You've been shown... You've been shown possibilities. You know, you've been shown technology. You've been shown all kinds of stuff from just that one match. If uh, she went back and watched it and went like, so what exactly happened? Then that's next level. Then that's the next level. But there you go. Right? That person spent a whole lot of time getting to be that good. Mm -hmm. Times when you were doing other stuff, that person was grinding out the, the intricacies of Armika. Uh, Armika, you don't have to spend that much time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Rude to Armika players. Hey, man. It's okay, they don't deserve any Come though. on, dude. Yeah. Be just... Yeah. You know, shout-outs flux. <laughs> Dear God, Armika. But, 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 you know, all that to say, though, that that person put a lot of work into, do yeah. into that. And, uh, you know, you can't just be like, I expect it to win because I expect it to be better than the person that fucking could do all that, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's the right attitude. Good job, Corona. It was great. And she was amazed by all the, the cool moves and everything. Mm -hmm. She's like, what's this movement? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 you whoa, whoa, you whoa. You sit down at a chessboard and then a piece you've never seen comes out. And yeah. then you're like, how does that piece move? And then it eats you. I'm like, yeah, well, you didn't know what that piece could do. You had no idea what the move was. That makes perfect sense, you know? Of course, yeah. Don't, don't expect to be like, I'll just guess and figure it out, you know? There you go. Good shit, Corona. FGC, hi, pipe, pipe. Say it! Say it! Shit! Street Fighter 6, son! Street Fighter 6! Street Fighter 6, son! Say it! Say it! Street Fighter 6! Street Fighter 6! Street Fighter 6! I've never seen that before. Really? No, I had never seen that before. 
<laughs> Dude, so wait, every time I did that, you had no idea what I was doing. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Three, five, four, three, five, four. Three, five, four. Three, five, four. This was on launch. <laughs> okay, so for years, I have passively been going, Street Fighter 6, son! Street Fighter 6! I see. Street Fighter 6, say it! Say it! Ah! Well, now I know. Now that's, I know. That's hilarious. That's crazy. <laughs> Every time I I just start yelling Street Fighter, same. It's like, yeah, Street Fighter 4. That's, this is... Genuinely Street Fighter 4. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's great. Yeah, focus attendance. Oh, wow. <laughs> Worst rap battle hype man ever. Rap music, OTBVA, rapping on my right. Oh, boy. Oh, that's always good. Oh, boy. 55 seconds, 11, 26 minutes. The total playtime of everything. So does that mean we need to watch this for 55 no, seconds? Yes, yeah, it's just the clip is 55 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's 55 seconds. It's fine. King of the Dot! I knew it! I knew it was King of the Dot! K-O-T-R. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. God damn it, Toronto. Introduce yourself. Yes, oh, sir. Get him. Ah. 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 You see, I'm tough. Yo, oh. ah. <laughs> Logic should do you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there are people like that at MCC events, man. Time. Every time there's a guy like that. Time. What? <laughs> what, the, what is he doing? <laughs> we need. <laughs> Can somebody send this to Imagine Obama? We need to shut Toronto down until we can figure out what's Lock going it, on. Build a wall around it. Oh my god. Build man. that wall. <laughs> Guys, like I tried to warn you. I really have. I've I've talked about this. Like the level of performative shit that comes out of that fucking city is out of control. It is insane how fucking fake the whole thing is. <laughs> like are you for real? Right you now. are Canadian. Oh my god! Like, oh, we'll leave, leave them alone. Leave, leave America too alone. Don't take shit leave for not America sounding too. like that. Yeah, I know we're not Drakes, right? And that shit is like, oh, we watched American TV. We watched fucking MTV, and we've and we started fucking Chet Hanksing that into our, <laughs> our our lexicon, and now it just evolves, and you fucking roll it out, and then you yes, a couple of Drakes later, uh -huh. right? Two episodes of Degrassi, then. Degr uh, right? Two episodes of Degrassi later, a Cardinal official later, right? It's become a thing, and there's generations of it, and it's all fucking fake, dude. It is so performative. It's bullshit. Where are you from? Mississauga? Really? That's what you fucking see? Oh. Brampton, son. <laughs> Yo. Uh, Richmond Hill, dog. You know how we roll? This shit ain't easy. Yes, you roll into your God. prep school. <laughs> the one where the uniform has a tie and a jacket. The fuck are you talking about, man? Oh my God, it's so lame. I fucking hate it, dude. <laughs> and it's just like, it's so... And it's so persistent because then Toronto takes on the identity of being the New York of, of Canada. Of Canada. So then, like, they're... And everybody else is just like, whatever and like you hear like there's you can there's clips there's tons of things where you can just see like <laughs> like i want to say there was a fucking like there's a, a, a maybe like a fight whatever there's like a video where they're interviewing like uh toronto like like festival kids um what was it, it was like an old uh, uh uh channel five or all gas no breaks or whatever and they're just like and you're hearing like the evolution of it and it's just a complete fucking performance that you just turn it on you know, yeah, God.
Uh, anyways. Fake, you say. It's just... It's turned on. Yep, yep, yep. It is a switch. To 11. You know. For no reason. And I, I mean, I, you know, to some degree, it's like all language has. It's like when it's well, at a certain point, if that's all you know, then that's what it is. And it's real to you, I suppose. And sure. But like growing up, dude, it was a switch that people turned the fuck on. And, I, and anyone from Toronto, like it was a hardcore put that on to sound a certain way thing, you know. And I guess you just do it hard enough and long enough and, and the end result is what it is. But man. Uh, anyways. <laughs> You know, you go to Jump Up Jamaica Day and, and the same thing. Fucking hit the switch, add the modifiers, you know. I, I, anyways, all right. It, yeah. Yo, how come that rap banner didn't just turn around and slap this boy? <laughs> just like, man, you do this shit every time. Don't you calm the fuck down. Dude, I it's just... Like, I mean, you, son. Just think about the money matches that we've bet Bro. over the years. Bro, just think about it. You know, anyway. yo, the 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 uh, the hyenas is what they call them. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Like, uh, I remember the last like smash tournaments I had in Toronto. Just people going around ah. <laughs> when it's tight. It's like uh, what? Like, are you for real? <laughs> are you for real? Anyway, yeah. Like there's a there's a there's a a grimy like there's there's a, there's a street grime quality to like uh uh I'm thinking of like the Montreal FGC like shit that like pop the pop offs and whatnot that is like it's 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 French it's like it makes sense that it like anyway I like no there's no switch that has to be turned on. For that to come out is yeah. basically like yeah. you know it's just it's linguistic is the is the, the tame. is what the term you know mm -hmm. so uh god and and i think and i and i've talked about it before right because that's the thing is you ultimately like we've had very similar paths but you went to french school yes right so you didn't have that thing where like when i was in grade seven i was watching like like friends that i was that that i was that i grew up with and people that i knew like start to experiment with it and work it in more and yeah. be like yeah you know what actually i'm gonna just this is what i'm gonna do for you i'm gonna just i'm gonna say that word and, now and it's just like and that's deaf all right <laughs> like, that's what <laughs> that's fetch that that's that's deaf um, anyways anyways all right it's like you know that uh, have you ever watched the league uh, the yeah. fantasy football. You know that guy. Uh, he's just like, child, please. And he's like, don't say child, please. That's not like you. That's disgusting. Uh, it's just I see the and like yeah, the king of the dot is the is a big Toronto freestyle community and like that's where a lot of that just comes out, dude. It just comes out because it's where they're trying the hardest, man. <laughs> God, fires fires off the fucking synapses, man. Okay, all right. Nice streak going. Yeah. No, there's just there's a personal touch to that, you know. Bradster, what is this? Hey, honey pie, you ready to pucker up for the Bradster? Jackpot. All right. Give it a moment, you know. What show is that? I've never seen this show before. I don't know what show that was, but um, it's got the right attitude. American Dragon. Okay. Let's go, Brad. American Dragon. Mm -hmm. Come closer. Xenomorphs. I mean. It could be interesting. Yeah. It's just funny how, like. Like, I don't. That era. I, that seems like it was probably maybe early mid. Early aughts, you know? Seems like possibly even uh, the, the, a little later than that. Could have been the late aughts on that. 
but like at this point we just spend every single day in the um harkness test <laughs> like zone there's like we're just like yep okay banging monsters banging weird things <laughs> creatures how we what do we do like it's just it's a day-to-day -day occurrence over here uh on the on the on the discussion panel uh but um yeah all right brett 2005 sure Brett is down ff9 coca-cola <laughs> Yo. That's so weird. Get the jewel. That's so weird. And he's why is he chasing a bottle cap? It's not even like a <laughs> bottle of the thing itself. It's it's, like, it's, it's a jewel. <laughs> Wow. You gotta get those Eidolons. How much did they pay for that peak Squeenix render? Yeah. You know? All right. Okay. FF9, Coca-Cola, Canon. Uh, yeah, well, if Monster Energy is kind into Death Stranding and, um, and um, Ramen Noodles are kind into 15, then, you know. <laughs> Why not? Breaking Bad Golden Meth. Mark. <laughs> eh, I mean, <laughs> come on, that's it. That's where you stopped. I feel like that concept. If you wanted to go further with it, you could have done much more than that. I'm, I'm a bit. Uh, that that was yeah. That was, was it was too that like it stopped it like he stands up. That's literally all that happened. There was no, you know, level two to it. There was no Jesse as guts. There, you, you know. Yeah, you were expecting more. There was, there was the a middle. million other things you can get, like. Come on, mm. come on. Disappointment, disappointment. It's a pass. Hey, look! It's Michael Scott and Mass Effect. Yeah, we. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna we'll we'll skip that. Actually, one. on both lists, multiple. Actually, times. on both lists, multiple times. Because yes, that's what that's what everyone thought of. Uh, Crusader Kings two out of context. Uh, quote shit posts. Oh wait, hold on! We accidentally skipped one. Oh, whoopsie Daisy, paving paradise. Please stop talking. Wait, actually, on um, okay, time, time stamped. stamped. Segment relevant is about ten minutes long. Okay, two fifty-two upvotes. Okay, so it should load up at the right moment. Uh... I, I'm not. I don't usually have like uh, conversations with people where they like haunt me forever, and like they they're like just haunting me, dangling over me every time I think about it. But this is, like, the only one I can think of, and it happened in an airport. And, unfortunately, it happened with somebody that's kind of famous online. Oh, oh I know the story. Yeah. I've never told this story because I'm, it's like, really embarrassing. <laughs> I am genuinely so embarrassed by what happened, but now that I think about it, it's really fucking funny. Because <laughs> of how much of a this. schmuck I am. So... I when I was going to Colorado like two years was it two years ago or one year ago? That would be uh, two years ago because we didn't two do years last ago. year because of COVID. Yeah, that's right. Two years ago, uh, I was I was taking an airplane to go to uh, well Colorado, and it was five a.m. It was like super fucking early. I was dead tired, and I was just going to my airport terminal, and. I sit down and like a few seats next to me because we we were all we, like, you know, you're just waiting for your plane to go and everything. And just a few seats away from me, I see somebody that looks like Wooly Versus. And I'm like, is that Wooly Versus? Oh, boy. For okay. people who don't know, that's uh, that's Wo Wooly <laughs> from uh, Best Friends Play. Uh-huh. I guess. And I'm like, 
I'm like losing it. I'm like, dude, this is, is that really him? And I, 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 I was like, I, I, I never get like the fucking, I never get intimidated by anybody. But for some reason, nor should you. It's Not fucking this wooly, shit. you know. Like it's you are like very this guy that I've been really like, so hard watching to since I was Jesus super Christ. fucking young Jeez, and all that. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's wooly. Like, oh, never fuck. seen it before. And I, I muster up the courage because I'm like, dude, I'm never going to see him again, and I'm never going to talk to him again unless I go and and talk to him. So I'm just <laughs> like, enough. okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> oh, I get up, I stand in front of him, and he just. The moment I stand in front of him, he he looks away from his phone and he looks at me and he looked so fucking tired and he was just waiting for me to say something. And at that point, I don't know why I didn't just go like, oh, sorry, never mind. And just left him alone because he looked fucking dead tired. I just go, uh, you will leave from super best friends. Oh. And he, he just goes, yeah, <laughs> he was so tired. I've never heard a man so tired in my life. <laughs> and, and I, 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 he doesn't say anything after that. And I, I'm just like, oh, fuck, what do I say? I didn't plan this. I didn't plan to actually talk to him. I just plan to walk up to him and I just say, <laughs> I really like your work. And he goes, Thanks, man. <laughs> and then <laughs> the conversation was dying. Alarm bells ring in my head. Uh, and I said, <laughs> the, the, the thing I told him haunts me to this day. Every time I can't, I legit mm -hmm. cannot watch anything with him in it. What? Because I just get embarrassed and it hurts. <laughs> I just look at him. And I, I don't know why, but I point to his phone and I say, I'm a YouTuber too. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm sweating right now just thinking about how fucking the, I, dude, uh, the look he uh, had on his fucking face. And Wally looked back at you and went, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looked. He looked at me, and he was like, "Look, it, that, that at that point he was like really nice, but he was like, As you oh, are. that's great, man. I hope it works out." And then I said, "No, you don't understand. It's my job." And then <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking sweating in embarrassment right now, dude. He said that, and I was like, oh. the moment I said it's my job, I could feel myself dying inside. And I was mm -hmm. like, dude, how do I go away from this situation? And he ju he's just like, oh, what's your channel, man? And I'm like, uh, please stop talking. And it's a ch the channel name. And he's like, oh, cool, man. And he like, he actually went on twitter and he was like is that you and i said yeah and he said that's cool man and then he put back his phone in his book oh. <laughs> i was just standing there looking at him and i said well anyways good talking to you and he was like y y same have a good flight and i went back to my seat and i wanted to fucking die Oh, and you guys were on the same plane? But that's not... Yeah. Not only that. Uh -huh. When I go in... I go in first. Because I was in the th uh, the third... How close is he uh, to you? Or whatever. I don't know what how what it's called. Third group. I sit Boarding down. Group. Boarding group. Yeah. I sit down. And then I'm like... I'm still thinking about it. Because that was so fucking awkward. He looked so fucking tired. It was 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are the worst fights. He sits down right in front of me for the whole flight and i could i just look at him play on his switch and i'm thinking like dude 
He's gonna remember me, right? There's no way you can forget somebody as fucking embarrassing as me. No. Somebody go through all the super beast like podcasts that they have to see if there's no, a it, story no, about No, there, no, there is they're, none. They're, there is none. Yeah. There is none. I'm yeah. sure he checked. They're, they're, okay. no, they're nice people. They wouldn't openly he's mock so someone nice. for being a fan. He's, I know. No, never. He's so nice. But How? fuck, man. I'm embarrassed to this day. David, I'm sure <laughs> it is not the first or last awkward interaction he's had with a fan in an airport. You are fine. No, I know. That said, he definitely helps. remembers you. He's DMing he me about it right to... now. No! <laughs> <laughs> I legit. I want. I want DM, to DM, ask. DM, DM. <laughs> can I say? Wait, can I say his name? Shane. Yeah, can I say yeah. Shane's name? I think okay. so. Could... Fuck it. Fuck Shane. If you can't, fuck, fuck him. Fuck Shane with a Y. Oh, I shouldn't say that then. It's fine. Oh, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. I've called him Shane I, on I, streams I, before like a billion times. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, okay. Shane Foxcade actually has oh, Fox talked Kate. to him like once or twice, and yeah. I'm actually curious yeah, Fox if you could cool. ask him if he remembers that, because that would actually ruin me if he remembers that. What do you want I to would know, then? die. It's haunting me. Oh, it's haunting me. Avery. It's been stuck in my head for oh, boy. ever since it happened okay. two, two years ago. Every week I okay. think about it and I'm because I see him on my feed because I follow his Twitter and I'm like, oh, dude, what it, the fuck is this thing? Things only get worse before they get better. Wow. That huh? That means that you have to drive through the fire before you're th you're past it. I have to DM him right now. You have so to DM do you remember, him. Remember do you me? remember me? No, just tweet. <laughs> just tweet at him publicly. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Remember me? Question mark smile. No, you should just tweet, I'm a YouTuber and tag him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get it. It's my job. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Why did I say you don't get it? It's my job. <laughs> That's the thing that hurts me so fucking much. <laughs> That's such a shitty thing to say. <laughs> oh my god. I, but in my head, I wasn't saying it like that. But like, oh, it know. came out like that because I was stressed out and I was like panicking. And I just said that. And I was like, dude, what the fuck did I just say? Uh, oh, man. I don't know if this makes it like worse or better. But I thought it was really cute. When you pointed at the phone and said I'm a YouTuber too, because you were like, it's like I'm in there. <laughs> oh, it hurts me to my core. It hurts me oh, to my boy. core to think about that. Oh boy. Just the that's the thing that made it more awkward though, just pointing at the phone like look me up. Bitch, try me. Bitch. <laughs> Try me. That's not even my attention. I was just stressed the fuck out because I was like, uh, what's the word for that? Star, uh, starstruck. Star mm. I was super starstruck and awkward. Okay. Oh, uh, whatever. That's my okay. fucking beating wooly story. Dude, okay. I remember every awful fan interaction. He definitely remembers you. Maybe I'm not awful. Maybe, maybe in maybe his head, like, he's like, Aw. oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, um, Jesus. one, oh, sorry, Sheena. I'm sure that. He's had, like, at least a handful of them. He's probably, like, he probably understands. Okay. At that Maybe. point. Right? Okay. We live in the same city. That's why it's so awkward. Oh, what word? If I, what if one day I'm walking around and I see him he, and he, on the other side oh, of the yeah? street, he points at me and Montreal. laughs. Montreal. Fuck me up. <laughs> Real? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm checking the Twitter right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hold on. What? That's pretty funny. Full time YouTuber, part time, -time. musician, how okay. my cat still in my emo phase. Wow. <laughs> no kidding. Well, Sir Meow Music, Montreal, Quebec. That's pretty good. Okay. All right. So, so, so. <laughs> so, 5 a.m. Wooly at okay. the airport is a particular kind of Wooly. So, the good news, Sir Meow Music, is I have no idea what you're talking about. I have zero recollection of this. I have met many people in airports. So many people. I've had very normal interactions with just about all of them. And that sounds kind of normal. That sounds pretty normal to me. There is nothing about that at all that is in any way, like, notably awkward or weird. It, that is... That sounds like something that has happened many a time. So you're totally in the clear on that. I did not recall that. Um, beyond that. Cringe, bro. Cringe. Cr shush. Quiet. Quiet. It's not true. He can shut the fuck up. 
Ignore this man. Listen. <laughs> beyond that. I'll take. <laughs> and I've you guys, some of you guys know this already, right? I have a very, very obvious resting bitch face. I have resting complete dead face. If I'm just on my phone, if I'm doing things, if I'm doing whatever, I promise you, you you look at me and you'll be like, why is he so pissed off? And I'm not. I'm just at, I'm at line. I'm at dot, line, dot. And people read my normal face as like pissed off or angry when it's really just, this is like, this is me. Focused. This is my normal face. This is no emotion whatsoever. Yeah. This is not upset. You should see his working face when he's like, this isn't even tired. This is just, right? I might even, yeah, you know, might even do and that. The squinting, yeah, I mean, especially at 5 a.m., man. That's mm -hmm. rough. So, and, and God knows what he hates morning flights. Yes. So that's, that's a bad moment. I am right definitely, there. I am definitely a night person. I am a nocturnal dude. I do not function well in the mornings. That much is clear. But in airport mode, especially, like, I'm just <laughs> going through the motions. I, I, I assure you. Um, anytime anyone comes up and says hello or whatever it's just usually oh hey yeah well, that's, that's cool what's mm -hmm. up you know and and nothing i was like i was because at first i was like did i say or do yeah, anything yeah, yeah. you know what i mean i was like uh oh i don't remember kicking anyone in the balls or i went to see wooly and he looked at me and he went <laughs> And I was like, "What? What's that sound?" I don't I... remember grabbing anyone's Steam Deck and smashing it over my knee. Like I, you know, I was like, "What?" Yeah. So no, no, very normal interaction. I have absolutely super resting bitch face on that. Um, and I wish I didn't. I wish people didn't interpret my my neutral face as being pissed off, upset, and angry. But it's just a regular thing. And then I sometimes get asked about that, and I go, "Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't. I, there's nothing. It's actually just that's just normal, you know." <laughs> um, I remember I used to get at back in the day, especially, uh, pre YouTube era, I used to get asked, uh, yo, what's wrong? <laughs> a lot of, a lot of the time I'd get asked what's wrong and I'm like, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. It's like, oh, okay. You just, you know, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I line, dot line dot, you know? Um, and then and then when that happens enough, I'd be like, okay, well now it's getting annoying. Yeah. You know, is there something wrong with me? But I totally just, I'm just, you know, fine. I'm just, I'm not, you know, hey, but like, it's just, I'm just like, no, I'm normal. Yeah. So that, you know, in, in that context is probably what you encountered. Uh, so don't worry about it, Sir Meow Music. You're totally fine. Uh, that is, that is hilarious. And uh, you are, in fact, uh, a YouTuber too. Full time. Full time. Uh, please stop talking. That's uh, that's where it is. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, uh, I've had conversations like that with some people before as well, and often, I mean, it's. Oh, have you been on the the backside of this medal like a few times? <laughs> Not necessarily, but okay. like, I definitely will like pull up uh or something to be like, oh, maybe I'll check this out later or so. But I don't immediately go, hey, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, hey, what's up? And just instant follow if i don't know what the fuck i'm subscribing yeah, to right you know uh -huh. uh, yeah, it, you'll take a look and be like oh that's, that's nice. i don't want to hit like hey what's up oh very cool nice to meet you sub and then the next time i refresh my my feed hey look it's fucking goebbels you know what i mean like it, it, like i don't know if like I, I don't know if i'm subscribing to some random nazi shit i don't know if i'm subscribing to a crazy person i have no idea who you are so i'm not just gonna insta sub to anybody i meet you have to understand I have to at least be like, oh, what, who am I, you know what I mean? That, does that make sense? You know? The heck is a gerbil? As in the, the G-O-E-B-B-L-E-L-S, as in... Oh, right. The, as in the, the Nazi. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. Not gerb, yeah. not G-E-R-B-L-E-S. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is... Okay, okay. All right. I could have just said Hitler. Whatever. Yeah, right. Like, the point is that the non. The point is, is yeah, that yeah, yeah. I don't know who the fuck <laughs> that I'm gonna just jump in and be like, yeah, let's just 
open the floor. I, I don't know, you know, but I'll be like, oh, I'll pull it up to take a look, you know, certainly. Yeah. So just so you yes, know, yes, yes. It, it like that's a pretty normal thing, right? Like you don't insta drop in and full commit to, <laughs> so, you know, um, and I've met and there's people that have introduced me themselves to me and that I've met and I've talked to that have like turned out to be fucking horrible assholes that I don't that want happen. to really interact with. And if I go diving, you know, without the precursory look, you'd be like, oh, shit. Uh, no, what the fuck? You know, so that happens, too. So you meet all kinds. You never know. Uh, that being said, uh, that's hilarious. And uh, Sir, Sir Meow Music is also in the city. That's that's <laughs> that's interesting. That's funny. It's, uh, huh. I don't know what. uh yeah, I don't know if you're uh, you're around. Maybe maybe I'll run into you at uh, something local. You know, mm, that'd be fun. Yeah, there's some stuff coming up. There's there's some there's some local events going on. I know there's a convention as well. We can we can see what's up. But uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's you're 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 totally fine. You're totally fine. All right. All right. <laughs> nothing bad happened. No, nothing, nothing, bad, nothing happened. bad happened. And, uh, yeah. I suppose, uh. Oh! Oh, hey. That's the channel. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh, funny podcast. Podcast. And then there's a. There's a Twitter account. Uh. Where is it? Over here. Okay. David. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. All right. Can uh, take a look and see uh, what's going on over here. Let me just uh, make a note of it. Got to do your research, folks. Can't just jump in blindly. You never know. You got to do your research. <laughs> I shook hands with some terrible people. <laughs> All right. All right. You don't even know. All right. Always, folks. But. Sir Meow Music seems all right. What's up? Uh, the... Boy. What else have we got? Up, 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 up. Hmm. Crusader Kings 2 out of context. Medieval Age Kings. Oh, hold on. I didn't read the notes. Quite visual. Okay. Politics, backstabbing, incest. Looking out of context can be hilarious. Is it easier to impregnate my wife if she likes me? Can I seduce the Pope if we're both homosexual? My husband keeps committing suicide. What do I do? Is there a way to force my kids to stop being gay? Fuck, I executed my kids for nothing. Which DLC do I need for raping? First time going Jewish, any tips? How do I weaponize what? herpes? Can I make myself and the Pope gay in a year? What? How hard is it to strangle an 8 year old? Really easy. Are 16 year olds more fertile? How do you get to 70 without at least getting your sister pregnant? <laughs> Can I sleep with my son if we're both gay? My inbred daughters keep dying too fast. Is there any way to stop democracy in Europe? Why can't I castrate this 15 year old in my dungeon? How do I use incest what to my advantage? What is this advantage? game? Hey, yo. <laughs> Did... Okay. This is... Yes. Let me just go back. Crusader Kings 2 is a medieval simu age simulation game. It involves lots of politics, backstabbing, incest, and much more. When taking out of context, the things players say can be hilarious. This is a compilation of exactly that. I'm like, I my brain completely, like we've gone so far down. I'm like, wait, what are we watching again? Like, what are, where are we? Okay. All right. Pope absolve me of murdering my kids more than once. Why are all the eligible single ladies six year olds? What are the benefits of marrying my daughter in comparison to my sister or my mother? Wife became a cannibal. Should I divorce her as soon as possible? Why won't anyone fuck my sister? Is there any what way to attract Jews or do they come randomly? Game? How do I start getting involved in Satanism? Why won't my gay brother have sex with me? 
Is there any point of not massacring the natives? Are you implying that prison is not a good place for a child? My daughter is a necrophile. Is this normal? Is it possible to eat the prophet? Should I seduce my father or my son? If either aren't the same, you're not even trying. Can Satan give me my balls back? If you capture a prego woman and can ransom her, don't do it straight away. Wait until she gives birth for an extra prisoner. <laughs> my wife is pissed that I'm banging our mom. My homosexual daughter just gave birth to the Pope's son. I want murder to be illegal so I can fuck all my daughters without penalty. You should constantly impregnate your daughter so that she doesn't even have time to get impregnated by anyone else. My crippled homosexual son was hands down my best ruler ever, despite me trying to kill him for the first half of his life. I usually kill my wife once she is no longer able to make babies, then I get a new 16 year old wife. If my sister cheats on me with someone else but I still think it's mine, will it be inbred through the power of my perception? I've heard of Crusader Kings and Crusader Kings 2. From whom? I, uh, m many of uh, th them. Them. I've heard of this video game. I don't really know what's going on. Nine out of ten on Steam. But it would appear that it is so in depth in its simulation, uh, 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 and and the possibilities of your world building, that these questions are questions that can be asked in the context of a, of a, of a playthrough. I, I don't know if you've ever played any games like Civilization or or X or any of that shit. But this has been a thing. Maps and buttons and territories. And so, so this little, like, looking game, just read and click and manage stuff. Yes. And there's all this background. There's there's stuff that goes on. I see. You know. And, 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 and yeah. It's... How are the, the, the textual reviews on this? <laughs> uh-huh. Bonding over ping pong. He was locked away in his room. All right, this 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 guy's happy. Thumbs up, recommended. Yeah, man. Vid dude, they're, 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 what am I supposed to? What? Yo, that was wild. Yes, just, just, just. All I can say is take solace in the fact that every time I've seen anything about that game, it's maps and menus and text. Okay. It's just yeah, just maps and menus and and text and numbers going up and Excel sheets and things to click on. So, can I give this to my friends? You can. You can play it yourself, even. Apparently free to play. Yeah, something catch your interest? No, I'm good. I'm good. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's that's wild. I'm not into strategy. <laughs> At least I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, have you ever played The Sims? Uh, have you seen the questions people ask about the fucking Sims? Like... Um, okay, I guess it's similar. You can stuff, imagine. Yeah. yeah. Fair. How that... Okay, all right. How networks be when the you're black? The legend himself, Marco, oh, so man, how, how are you? How are you doing, man? I, I wouldn't right. say legend, but I'm good. Okay. You know what these guys? For me today? Uh, just a pitch, something I'm real passionate I've, about. I've seen... I think I've seen skits from them yeah. on Twitter before. Yeah. yeah. I've been writing it for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hear it. All right, well, the show is called uh, Black Time. Black Time, okay, love it. Yeah, it's about a group of friends, black, of course, traveling mm -hmm. through time. They find a time machine and go on all sorts of adventures, okay. including uh, robots, uh, dinosaurs, aliens. Slaves, right? Did I say slaves? Oh, no, you didn't, but you said you were going through time. You know, black people and slaves go hand in hand, you know? I, I wouldn't say, you know, us and slaves go hand in hand. I don't think... I don't think black people. Well, you like you play a mean Django, by the way. No, Jamie Foxx, he played a mean Django. Like he, he, you're right, you're right. So okay, he did so, his part, dude. So, so no slaves. Nah, bro, no slaves, no Django. Okay. My apologies, then. Continue. Nah, just yeah, it's all good. Uh, we're going through time. 
with, like I said, dinosaurs, mm-hmm. aliens, robots. Things. As a rap group. No, nigga, none of us is rapping. We're not so, rapping. So you guys aren't going through different time periods performing for different people? No, no, we're not doing that. No, like we're not rapping. Comp- Who? Nobody said nothing about no rapping, bro. Like, I'm, we're not rapping, bro. So no, no slaves, no rapping. Okay, this is new to me. Okay, continue. You want to write this? You trying to write this? No, of course not. This is your pitch. Because it seems like you got a group of white writers ready to write this somewhere. Like, what's no, going no, this on? This is all you. You're the man. I just want to hear oh, Okay, pitch. I thought I was... A, let me pitch my show then. Okay, okay. Black time. Mm-hmm. We're going through time. Just regular group of people. Mm-hmm. Adventures. So we go through time and we got to fight bosses and whatnot. And, like uh, childhood trauma. Growing up with broken households, no father figures, kind of... You know, white people terrorizing black people. Bro, like, get what out. the fuck does bosses got to do with childhood like, get trauma, out, bro? Right? Get out, Great No, people. no, I mean, get out, man. Somebody already... Been, hey, look, hey, look, I'm trying to get out. Stop talking. Look, no, get out, none of that shit. Did I say something offensive? Yeah, yeah you said something offensive. You talking about I look like Django? Uh, I'll play good Django, and then you talking about some get out? Bro, I'm not right now. I'm really sorry. This is Black Tom. Talking. This is a good adventure. Continue, continue. This is, no, group of black friends. Mm-hmm. Good people. Great people, okay. Just, just going through Tom. Mm-hmm. And then we get sometimes they, we might get split up in different time periods, and we gotta fight together as groups. But, but if you get split up, how are you guys gonna remain a squirts team? Man, who the fuck said something about a sports team? This sounds just like Remember the Titans and Coach Carter. How, how does how does sound? How the fuck does this sound like Remember the Titans? Are you serious? How does it sound like Remember the Titans? Tell me which part sounds like Remember the Titans. Isn't it obvious? You're a black group of athletes facing adversity. In a different time period, correct? Ah! Play with me. Security! And I'll slap what? your bitch ass if you went for no lawsuit. But what did I do wrong? I'm just calling it how I see it. Pleasure doing business with you. Ah! All right. I mean, look, man. Do we have to just, like... Do I have to quote the, the fucking the Louis C.K. bit? But it's like you just you get a time machine. That's cool. We're not going any back further than the eighties, man. <laughs> it's it. going anywhere it's further back it. than the eighties. I'm good. Not worth it. <laughs> I'll learn. I'll watch the movie. I'll I'll fucking I'll read about it. Sounds great. Okay. I have no interest whatsoever. Where? Yeah, most periods of time, it, you know, just not, nah, no. My thank you. doesn't even want to go back to last week's shit. So. Uh-huh. That's that's quite fine. That's quite all right. <laughs> Dare I say that like the pitch uninterrupted, still probably a bad idea. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's not believable. Best case scenario. You roll up and see your, your 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 like Charlie Murphy style skit ancestor with the time haters, you know, <laughs> like best case scenario, dude. Nah, man, keep your time travel. I'm good. I'm good. Back to the mysterious age of forty years ago. <gasps> oh, what is this? Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, oh. Uh... Yeah. Well, they look like nice people. No, thank you. I'm good. Ten minutes. Check the bed. I want to leave. I want to leave. We need to talk about our issues. Last time when I said I, I'm gonna leave, you just said let's check the bed. Who says that? Who says that? No one says that. Maybe my aim is bad. Your aim is shit. You see? I really appreciate us talking about this. I'm tired. You're tired? You're tired? Bitch, go to save a point. The save point, okay. Thank you. It's our favorite activity. Go to the bed. The bed, okay. I... Bitch, what the fuck? That's a bed to you? Toire. The bed. Toire. The bed. Okay. You're lucky I took my pills today because I could kill you with my own hands. I'm gonna use my my best my best card. Dresser. The bed. Okay. No. Huh? Consultation. Yes. No. I think we're done with checking this place. I'm gonna eat chips right now because you make me hungry. You never listen to me. You never understand my feelings. You never understand me. Hmm. 
I see. Check the dead body. The bed. No. Okay. I'm gonna drink seven beers after this stream. Listen to me. There's nothing left I need to check. Let's go somewhere. Oh, else. you're telling me this to the second time you walk in the bathroom, but when we go into the bed one million times, you're saying, oh, let's check the bed, huh? You're sending me mixed signals, bitch! Buck like a dog. Little dog? Arf! Arf! Or big dog? Woof, woof. Come it was not America. supposed to be like this. <laughs> Nyao like a cat. Huh? You understand bark like a dog, but not nya like a cat? Little dog? Arf! Arf! Or big dog? Woof, woof. You actually a bitch? Yes. That's good to know. <laughs> I am confused because reality is being rewritten before my very eyes. Um, because, uh, Sir Reggie, that game is called Lifeline. Okay. It's a game where you control it by giving the character directions into the microphone. And uh, I would assume that uh, Tenma would have no problem controlling the game because the only thing I knew about it was that uh, there were problems giving directions and that uh, one major thing to begin with was... Uh, when you had to say the name of the game, Lifeline, at some point, the game would not respond. But then it did respond when you said, Rife Ryan. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and from that single piece of information, you should be able to extrapolate a web of problems with the way this game was made. Uh-huh. I would have assumed that within that web of problems, Tenma would have no issue. Right. Based on what we've heard. Mm -hmm. But it seems that no, there are still issues, no matter how you pronounce things. So that just leads me to conclude in the end that the game is just actually just not at all... It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. But the first and only piece of information I had was that you had to say the name of the game. I see. Right, 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 right. The correct way. You gotta read the katakana, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a microphone game. They're all shit. But I mean, Seaman didn't uh, didn't completely botch it, right? From what I understand, Seaman managed to work for some degree of time. Seaman, yes. Um, so you know, there's that. Yeah, Seaman. You've heard of Seaman, haven't you? The Dreamcast game where you talk to the fish man with the <laughs> microphone. You guys, are you too young for that? You know about Seaman. Come on, come on. You know about Seaman. Um. Pfft. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. definitely came out funny the first time you said it. <laughs> Seaman. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh that and the of course the classic is uh, when I first heard the story at some point years ago, I think it kind of killed me. Um <laughs> you have to say right right. <laughs> And that's a funny thing. That's a funny problem to to program into your game, you know. Um, yeah. A lot of times, I, look, I used to look back on those SNK translation issues and just be like, you couldn't find, like, just the nearest, the nearest person to reference to just double check? No. Like, is it just... It's not important. Like, Localization, what? Why not just double check with the nearest native speaker you can find, you know? I don't know. That's the part that I'm like, they're always around. There's tons, tons of people you could ask. In some cases, you know, like uh, voice actors being called in and being told to like deliver things in the weird way. And you're like, but why not just do it proper? <sighs> well, anyway. Uh, all right. Uh, what do we have here? Waters had a fruity fling. Rubicon Spring TV ad. Yeah, 
Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Water's had a fruity fling. New Rubicon spray, an exciting mix of sparkling spring water and fruit juice. Uh huh. Yeah. Notice. Notice that at no point does Mr. Water over here appear to be upset. He's just. It's just dawn. He's. Yeah, it's dawning on him. But is something awakening deep inside? <laughs> let, let them let them do the thing. The brazenness of this, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, mm -hmm. this commercial could have gone like, but it didn't. I can be absent. And the kids are already here running around. Mm -hmm. So, whoo, go get your Superman outfit. Nice mustache. <laughs> is that what was it? Was that is that is that is that British? That that strikes me as a European ass commercial. What uh, had a fruity fling? <laughs> yep, Rubicon drinks UK. Yes, correct. There we are. Uh, all right. Let's see. This water squat fit. <laughs> Calling that water a fit bird, aren't they? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. The bottles of water is oh, a fit, quite, fit oh, quite, bird. Quite. <laughs> All right. Keep keep working. Keep keep labbing it. Oh yeah, that's, that water is a looker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, real wet. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. You almost got it. You almost got it, dude. Work in progress. <laughs> Work in progress. Brian Lee Mulligan explains love. Love isn't about demonstrating your worth. It's not about making someone an image of themselves and putting them on a pedestal and attaching your self-worth to an idea that you will be worthy of love if this person you adore chooses Brennan. to love you Excuse in return. Me. Love is a series of hormones that the brain secretes <laughs> in order to create bonds that facilitate survival in a cruel and uncaring multiverse. Brennan, not Brian. Excuse me. Well, that was real. <laughs> that was real. It can be. It determines on how one chooses to interpret that information. Right. You know? Let me uh, see if I can't pull up. Oh, pulling out something. Something relevant over here. Excuse me a moment. So that was a DMD &D bit? Uh, it appears to be. Mm -hmm. Donald Duck says, Everything that we know and love is reducible to the absurd acts of chemicals, and it is therefore no intrinsic value in this material universe. And do you know what Mickey Mouse replies? What does he say? Hypocrite that you are, for you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you they are chemicals. All knowledge is ultimately based on that which we cannot prove. Will you fight? Or will, will you, you perish, perish like, like a, a dog? dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh God. Indeed, indeed. So um the long and the short of that is chemicals became a meme because uh some years ago there was a conversation that was had on a video somewhere, and uh basically I cited some such similar sentiment. I see. Um, it came out of your, your mouth organically? Uh, uh, to which uh, I then explained that I find it really cool that that's how things work. Mm -hmm. But uh, that part doesn't matter as much as the part where 
uh, you're an edge lord that Rough. thinks everything is chemicals. <laughs> and it's like, all right, well, done. Fair we're enough. cooked. <laughs> you know. What do you mean he yelled it? Did you really yell that? If you yelled it, that's different. That's that's kind of wild. I the fact that it's what it, like that has been a repeating bit over the years because it's like it has been a constant like <laughs> bully the edge lord chemicals yada yada bit and it's like but what's what's the what's the second part? Yeah. Why do you why do you not want to get to the the conclusion. Well, no, we yeah. got everything we need right you here. You got everything you need right there. <laughs> Understood. Everything you wanted, you want? Yep. Got it. Good. All right. No problem. Not an issue whatsoever. Wow. Yep. Uh, thank you for the one man raid, Axologic. Appreciate that. I see you. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying to. I mean, there's. Anyway, I feel like I feel like that's that's the that's the gist of anything uh, chemical related in in context, whatever it comes up. But um, I I, I, I want to say there was some point too where I had a discussion, uh, kind of elaborating on that a bit and um, more or less describing that the. The way I kind of get to that point is by having a, a religious upbringing that like tells you a story about how we got, we all came to be here and then uh, fighting your way out of that when you have no one else around you to, to possibly uh, like support those ideas and how difficult that is because it's like you have to go against everything you know and then trying to come to a conclusion uh, that is ultimately, I guess, an, a more convincing explanation for how we all came to be here, but also not an inherently nihilistic one. And it's that, like, because there's a, there's a bit of a thing where um, you will run across this if you ever are talking to, or, like, people that are uh, trying to convince you to stay in the church. Sometimes you might run into people who would say, yeah, but what's the point of anything if mm. it isn't what we've been taught, if it isn't this origin story? And, like, why even care about anything? Why even bother? Why not just fully be nihilistic about things? And it's like, when you're a little fucking kid, you probably don't have the equipment to answer that. You probably haven't processed enough out there to figure out where to go next in that conversation. But to me, at least, I think that if you can see the fact that they're the whatever random kind of nature to, of it and the coincidental nature of it and the fact that the math happened to add up to this exact thing yeah is it's fucking cool that you rolled right and every one of those red checks landed 20 20 20 in each instance to get things to where they are and that's fucking in it that is cool in and of itself yeah and that's interesting and fascinating in and of itself and it doesn't need to be justified by a a, a, a creating hand or a oh. guiding hand of some kind if you need that for your more comfortable see it's cute narrative. to see the amazement you have in the in front of the magnificence of it, life you it's know? it's an answer that kind of helps you like especially in that type of conversation go like yeah but even if there is even if this whole book is fake, even if this is all bullshit, it's still super worth it and still still super like something to like. It, a, there's still something there. Point. There's still an, there's still a, something to be optimistic about. It's yeah. still interesting. It's still fascinating in and of itself for what it is. Right? If you just kind of look at it and go, um, it wasn't the storybook, therefore, what's the point? Then that's stupid. You know. So like all of that extrapolates further and further out in some way to a mentality where here I am in, in adulthood at the very least. And I look at things as like, yeah, like there is no magic in the world. Things are not, you know, there's no fucking, uh, uh, um, mystical soulmate attachment. You're going to be pulled. In. You know what I mean? There's nothing that, that we've seen that is any, but like, because you're not 
uh, uh, because it's it's not magical doesn't mean that it has no inherent worth or value, right? Things that happen to be the result of the fucking random ass domino effect that got us to this po- this place are still fucking interesting and cool and like it is awesome that it happens to work out this way, you know. And you have to kind of find fascination in that um, instead of just being like, no, it's got to be the storybook or nothing, you know. So. Uh, I know that's not as funny. <laughs> I know that's not as interesting or as memeable, but I hope that uh, makes some sense as to how I kind of came to these conclusions because I feel like uh, at a point in time when I was getting out of believing God made everything and I had to find a fight uh, uh, that find alone. Your or your conviction. I had to fight that alone and I think I had to come to some conclusions that were equally as valuable uh, when discussing with the entirety of my family about those subjects. Yeah. Or, you know, perish like a dog. <laughs> or. Or you can perish. Oh, interesting topic. Yeah. Can't wait for the next time Chemicals comes up. <laughs> <laughs> You're Lol. ready. Chemicals. You're ready. Hyper DBZ, ultra updated, uh, inspired, ultra instant combo. So we played this game, but we didn't play this version of it. You know, guys, the fun thing about Mugen is that you can do whatever you want. Whatever, whatever? For as long as you want. Wow. That's cool. Look. Yeah. Yeah, the fan sprite work through the roof on this part. I think I think we looked at a compilation of all the, uh, the specials too. Super sick. Oh, he goes back. Ah! That's not my mouse. Okay, good. <laughs> That's the mouse in the video. <laughs> you can't beat me. Yeah, I don't know if you remember when we played that, but um, I want to say we went through some of those. Uh, uh, cutscenes because yeah super high effort put into that um good shit that's pretty good i never want to hear anyone complain about the length of ultras or level threes ever again <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to watch a movie yeah shit. i mean to be fair right and this is just just being perfectly you know to like, are you going to see that? How often are you going to see that super at yeah, the end of a combo? That's the thing. Are you going to see that once every six months because that's how often you play the game? Or are you going to see it every Tuesday? Mm. 15 to 16 times a Tuesday. Yeah. Because if you're going to see it 15 times every Tuesday and then another 30 times throughout the rest of the week when you're practicing at home, it's understandable. Mm-hmm. But if the last time and the only time you're going to see that really cool big Street Fighter Ultra is when you watched it on the, the stream that one time, then yeah. sure, spectacle. <laughs> or if you, if you like put requirements, like uh, collecting all the Dragon Balls or something, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, what I would say is uh, what fighting games can do is they can have hold the button down for the fast version. I would like that. Yeah, I think that would be a really fun answer to just, you know, let casual watchers enjoy uh, a really big, cool cutscene mm-hmm. moment while having a slower version if you wanted to uh uh as that's your you know as an option you know or yeah. even the other way around and who would decide if it's the long super or the short super your opponent or you oh you the person doing it <laughs> so that your opponent is like press the damn button yeah 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 <laughs> sure sure absolutely. No, we're gonna ha- we're gonna watch this whole cut scene feel that stop you see him look at him going in the sky <laughs> push the button so we can play now hold that <laughs> <laughs> that's rough I guess but at the same time you could also just go back to having everyone argue about how long super should last 
where yeah. the the better of a player you are, the more you want it to literally have no animation. Yeah. That's Screen that's flash, possible. life bar dead. Continue. Mm -hmm. What's the point? I have I have knocked down Oki. I can I can do something on your wake up. That's all that matters. Where are you on the screen and how much damage did you lose, right? Functions. Yeah. I oh, think that word. Exactly. I think we can find a happy medium between the two. And if someone wants to grief you by holding the button down, then I don't know, whatever. So be it. You know? But if they don't, then most people just want to move on and play, then you can just yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. This is why you don't play Battle Network 3 PvP 2, the sequel. Okay, they both have a thousand. Plant Man, Maggie Buff, some wood, some custard. Hey, what's happening on the other side, though? We don't know what they're up to. He didn't beast out. He planted up. Okay. All right, 400 and Almost just died. You know? 392 damage. Okay. Vines can't move. Uh huh. Is this what it looks like on the other side? Jealous. Oh, this is gonna be a comeback, is there? Okay, but player two can still, you can still play, right? Player two will play two is locked right now. Any minute now, he's gonna explode, right? Button incoming. Some wood, more wood, all the wood. I mean, quite frankly, the fact that this is taking three to four, tur six turns. Impressive. Oh, you gotta capture the flag too. There's a flag as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you just got murdered. That was just a murder. I mean, you know, but like that took a minute and twenty-two seconds. <laughs> kind of long. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, what's the let's let's fucking do we need do we need to actually run the comparison point? Because to me, like, I'm pretty sure uh, Wooly got washed <laughs> was um, a very short clip. Is my keyboard dead? My keyboard is dead. God damn. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh we need to charge that baby. Yeah, it there's a lot of wires going on, man. <laughs> it's a bit complicated over here if you can't see. Uh look, we'll just we'll just we'll figure this out here. Uh Wooly algorithm. Yes. All right. Here we go. And then we look at the latest clip uh, over here on Wooly versus the algorithm. Not the latest clip. The latest clip is oh! Blackface Crisis Averted. I haven't seen that one oh, yet. You gotta check that one Two out. Two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Wooly Jackson and goes for a swim. Yes. Yeah, How long did this last? Let's go from moment of gameplay. All right. We're connecting. One. What was the name of our friend okay. again? Something Baz? Action, baby. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like that number on the right side. Uh-huh. Crack shot. We started at 17 Don't seconds? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That... Don't get hit. Uh-huh. I gave you the best sure. tip possible, man. You really did. That's I what... tried. Hit, don't get hit. That's what my coach <laughs> used to say. Uh... <laughs> yep. All right. So... Minus 17, right? About a half minute. No time to waste. So, really, uh, my 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 entry level garbage ass rock man did pretty uh, good. At the end of the day, little, like, you know, with, with that, that 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 was a that was a, a literal touch of death, not a metaphorical one, right? So say Mega through. Man is still washed ashore on the beaches of Destiny. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, the rest of that clip shows you. Uh, okay, what else we got going on? Revolver 
Oh, revolving revolver, revolving. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Do make sure my brother is comfortable and don't let him out of your sight. Don't worry, boss. He may have escaped once, but no one can outrun my revolver forever. You know, Ocelot, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> about what? Well, the whole revolver thing, you know? It's just... Now, I'm sure you're very comfortable using a revolver for pretty much any situation, but don't you find it rather situational? Situational. The Colt Single Action Army Revolver is one of the most adaptable handguns in existence. See, I'm not even so sure about that. We're dealing with someone who could blow up tanks with just grenades. What do you think a revolver could do? Plenty enough. It only takes one bullet to stop him. Amazing quality well. fucking shitpost recreation of these models. The point. What do you even have against a revolver in the first place? Now, now, no need to get defensive. I don't have anything against revolvers. It's just... Well, how do I put this? Revolvers? <laughs> the katanas of guns. The katana? You're comparing the revolver to a mere sword? The well, loading if you think too. about it, they're actually quite similar. Both the revolver and the katana are very simplistic in design, but are very popular because of how they're portrayed in media. Think of video games, for example. They're obscenely strong in any game they're featured in. Mm -hmm. Not to mention their wielders were heavily romanticized, such as was the case of the samurai to the katana and the Wild West cowboy to the revolver. That's ridiculous. What do cowboys have to do with me? Well, that's just a whole nother can of worms. Loading. Listen here, Liquid. There's nothing wrong with the Colt Single Action Army Revolver. It's a soldier's weapon of choice. More like the Fedora Lord's weapon of choice. <laughs> you stay in your lane with your nuclear weapons and daddy issues. Speak no more of the revolver. Sometimes I feel like you say the word revolver just because you like the word revolver. Yeah. No. Whatever. Just keep an eye on my brother. I'm going to go check out the new Vine Sauce video. I heard he's a fan of me. Whatever you say, boss. No hard feelings, right? Don't worry about it. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, where's the lie? You know, like the gun's reliable, but it also has taken on a, it's a life of its own in the mythos of the cowboy as the, as the katana. It's absolutely true. true. Where's the fucking lie? You know, I remember. Um, uh. Someone somewhere anyway, I forget at this point, but there's a so there's a discussion of where uh someone was breaking down how like swords are like j swords historically, even though we see them in lore as like the magical mystical weapon that's always the main thing, it's the default legendary choice, and it would be symbolic of like you know like a a a, a prince warrior coming to the battlefield or so. If you were to actually go back in time in a lot of places. It was that was way too uh, expensive and difficult for the average person, and in a lot of cases, if you wanted to just go with what people had most of the time, it was a fucking spear. Mm. It's a stick with a blade on it. Yeah. And the idea of a spear, which you can just give to anybody and go, "Here, basic training, stab way over there." Yeah. Versus the the required dexterity, you know, required. of a sort of a blade, Dexter much less builds. one that you can do with one hand instead yeah. of two. It's like, yeah, we just fucking we bonked people over the head and we stabbed them with a stick with a pointy end on it. Um, sometimes the stick itself was the pointy end, you know, and like the idea that like this, this world of like thousands of, of, of tens of thousands of soldiers running into battle with like elegant, amazing swords of Valyrian steel is like, yeah, the, that's not, they didn't roll that way. You know, most, most of the time average fucking foot soldier was just given a stick with a fucking thing on it, you know? And I was like, oh yeah, that makes a ton of sense. And people who were soldiers back then, they got really good probably got really good right. with that and if you happen to have a little side dagger or something fancy going on 
it was a close quarters like sidearm equivalent, you know. But um, yeah, fantasy pumps up the the importance of the sword so much yeah. that now we see the sword as the default weapon, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't even picture myself wielding a spear. That's how bad it is. Yeah, everyone, everyone, every default, everything. Yeah, I'd go sword and shield. Right, and you want like the lore goes deep. I mean, the Garden of Eden was not protected by an angel holding a spear. Right, it's a burning fucking sword. You know, that that yeah, that human invention perfectly crafted to mm -hmm. be but held by a held human hand. hand. Yeah, sure. <laughs> The creature with eight eyes and no real heads and 15 wings going on. <laughs> yeah. My burning blade. Yeah. So, no, fantasy has, uh, has skewed us somewhat. Ah! Where's Joker? Okay, okay, you don't hurt right me, okay? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Good. Joker. Long time, no crime. Batman! So kind of you to join us, Bats. So nice of you to come. Joker, where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, uh, have a little patience, Bats. Haven't you heard of showmanship? If I may, may I turn your attention to the screen? Who is she? That Batman is Wendy Albridge, Salutatorium at Gotham Academy. One of the sweetest girls I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. She's just a kid, Joker. Let her go. Make no mistake, Batman. She is not under my control. Beyond the control of my suggestion. Okay, so yeah. Okay, what 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 do you what do you got up your sleeve, Joker? I was so fortunate to come across this lovely phone application called Kick two years ago. Have you heard of it, Bats? No. No. No, I, I haven't. Oh, you haven't heard of it. Well, it's this lovely app where young girls can go and express themselves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like where this is going, Joker. I started messaging sweet little Wendy Aubridge two years ago, Bats. And since then, I've become a sort of father figure to her. An older brother, but like a much older brother. Oh. I don't like that at all, Joker. Oh, Bats, it's so easy. All I did was help her with her algebra homework one day, and then the next day I say I miss you so much. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have <laughs> happened. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Um, now, Batman, to the next step of the plan. Turn your attention to the clock. Ten minutes. What are you gonna do to her, Joker? Don't worry, Batman. Wendy is safe. She's safe with me. Don't you see, Bats? Do you know what tomorrow is? Thursday? Well, yes, of course. It is Thursday, but not any Thursday, Bats. Uh... Not just any Thursday. It is Wendy's birthday. <laughs> are, are you gonna kill her or, or, or her family? What, what, what are you gonna do? Do you know how uh... old she's turning, Bats? No. I don't know. Wendy is so adorable, so sweet, Bats. But at midnight, she becomes sexy. <laughs> Joker, what the fuck? Joker, I would rather you do other things. This is legal, <laughs> technically, but I don't like it. It's, it's weird. This is just weird, Joker. Uh, 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 don't be so hypocritical, Bats. Not so different, you and oh, I. No, we are, we are very different. We're, we're so different, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like this guy. <laughs> we both operate within the confines of the law, but we find ourselves fun little loopholes <laughs> to have our fun with. Don't call uh -oh. it fun. And, um, Joker, no. We must state that. Any state. <laughs> Mississippi. 16 with parental consent. Uh, Go back with to parental consent. What, what happened to that? That's actually... For some reason, I like when you would kill people versus this. This is just weird. Don't you see? I've done my research, Bats. I've done all sorts of research. And I know every state. I, I've never killed anyone before, but I, I will kill. <laughs> this will be the exception. I will break my own rule. And I, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, I had no idea what he was doing, okay? Like, if I knew what he was doing in there, of course I would have stopped him. It's just I didn't know. <laughs> I, I stood outside the door and I didn't ask questions. But, like, of course if I knew, I would have done something, right? Oh. Uh, come, come on, come on, what's next? Oh, Batsy, don't go running. I'll be out of here in no time, and I'll be downloading TikTok, the things the kitties upload on there. So delicious. What the <laughs> fuck? What? What's wrong with you? I, I, I can hear you, you fucking creep. No, not a creep. I'm devious. I'm I have a, a fucking daughter, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of you after <laughs> this, you fucking pervert. No, I'm a, I, I'm a trickster. I do little tricks. I've killed people, and I still think what you're saying is more fucked up, you fucking weirdo. Fucking God. Clown-looking ass. That's enough from you. Stupid, That's enough from you. I know. I know. <laughs> Jesus, Joel. Joker. I... It's, it's Bruce Wayne. Um, I just wanted you to know that like a normal person is under this that like, thinks it's really, really bad that you do this. So stop doing it. Ugh, Batman. <laughs> Bro. Bats, darling. Have you heard of the term maps? Next. <laughs> Next. Not this. Uh, no. No. Next. Yo, Jason. Where's 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 Yo? Where's Where's Todd at? Get the fucking Arkham Knight immediately. <laughs> Release them all. Get the Red Hood. Get yes. Jason. Get over here now. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Joker is devious. That is uh that is pretty devious, man. Um you know, here we are used to a world where the 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 IRL jokers try to be the movie joker, but here it's what if the movie jokers were like the IRL <laughs> jokers. You see, that's that's actually the twist. It's a pretty clever setup. Um Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Joel, however, pretty good content. Macho Man, Randy Savage's greatest okay, quote. Okay, your, your, your middle name is Macho, but um, I'm wondering if you ever Our cried. You ever, has Macho Man ever cried? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. It's okay for macho men to show every emotion available right there, you know, because I've cried a thousand times, I'm going to cry some more. But I've soared with the eagles and I've slithered with the snakes and I've been everywhere in between. And I'm going to tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life and that there are no guarantees. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I understand this. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes a quitter. Nobody said life was easy. So if you get knocked down, take the standing eight count, get back up and fight again. And you're a macho maniac. Dig it. Yeah. That was probably just before he went on to record his diss track rap album against Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, let me see the face of you don't know what the fuck. No, I don't know. Oh, he did. A full album. A full album? A full album. Oh, you went in. He went all the way in. <laughs> Jesus. Never stops going in. Before friends, families, and foes. Damn. I didn't know that. I, I thought they were handshaking villains, you know? Well, I mean, the, the mega powers, you know, they had to hesitate oh. before they invent... Did we Ooh. do it? I don't know if we, sh you know. Ugh. But then he had a full album diss track just shitting on Hogan for the whole thing. It's kind of incredible. Thought Wars. All women are queens. <laughs> if she breathes, <laughs> she's, she's a fuck. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate, here's what I appreciate. The quality of this video is clear that uh, 
it looks like it's from the mid 90s. Yeah. But it's clearly from a post Kylo Ren era when you take the meme and into account as well as the lightsaber editing. So, uh, good job. Good job to all involved. Good delivery. Well done. I got to run to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. All right, what's going on? Let's see. Some of uh, Mordecai. Oh, thank you for the gifted subs, Sinclair Prime. Cheers. Mordecai, fuck it, I'll answer. It goes one to seven. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, one to seven. Eight has Liu Kang alive, so there was a reset at seven. Then Dark Khan merger, then universe split with Khan and DC and Dark Side and MK9. Onward skips eight, meaning that there must have been another reset. So there's actually four resets. Hold on a minute. Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So four. Uh, Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon. Right? Okay. Um, four. Mortal Kombat 4. No, I mean four resets. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's seven. Then Dark Con merger, then Universe split with Con. And Dark Side in MK9. In DC. But MK9 didn't have the fucking DC Universe at all. No, no, no he's saying M, uh, Dark... Uh, Universe split with Khan in DC and Dark Side in MK. Nine and onwards skips eight, meaning there must have been another reset. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. So we never actually get to the bottom of it. However, MK versus DC creates its own outcomes that get ignored as soon as MK9 comes out, right? That's 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 the gist of it. So that ultimately just means, yeah, okay. So then that's kind of what I thought. It's just that that another way of saying that is that it's a spinoff that doesn't actually count. If it's just its own wor pocket world where nothing else happens, then then it's just a spinoff. You know, it's um, but it's canon. But like what? I didn't know it was canon. Stuff. What what makes you say it's canon? It's a canon spin-off? The game is canon, but the story is not canon. What the Canon spin-off. Like what what part about it who like what confirms that it's canon and not just its own pocket world that didn't exist? That's what I don't understand. Because of the number? It's because of the number. Is it because because it's called because it's it's technically MK eight that and then nine is the reboot that that you're calling it canon? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So it's a spinoff, but it got a number in retrospect because technically we are at. Not, but MK nine wasn't called MK nine. It was called MK, and mm -hmm. then we're, but when we got to ten, it was like the tenth entry. Therefore, you had to count ten back nine backwards, and that's what is in there. Yeah. Okay. The number on it. Fine, fine. That's a loose-ass fucking way to get there, but I guess we have to accept it. But it, it, it it's... I won't fight it. Yeah. Well, we you can't fight it, but it ultimately does... If, if it were any other unnumbered thing, it would be like, oh, yeah, remember when uh, Ryu showed up and hung out with uh, Namco heroes in Namco X Capcom? You know, it, but it's like, okay, and then there's, you throw a number on that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Shout outs to the sequel to the current game, uh, MK2. Coming soon. Moonbase Alpha provides a realistic simulation of life on a natural satellite. Uh, I 
Hola Hola get dollar. Hahaha. <laughs> John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. <laughs> point question mark exclamation point question mark exclamation point question mark fail 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 fail. This is a miss for me. Uh, NPC. Nope. Homer goes Super Saiyan. Then what's that certified classic? Huh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the music does all the heavy lifting. It does a lot of the lifting. The music does it's all so the heavy high. lifting. <laughs> okay. The music, the music did the whole thing. That, yeah, that, fine. Fine. <laughs> like you scrape you get through, a pass. You scrape through on that for sure. <laughs> they uh, pause at twenty six. Skip to forty five. Unpause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait. Oh hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. We need to. Um. We need to emphasize. I, I, we might have missed the fact, Reggie, that uh, this is a, a certified fucking. Classic. Mm -hmm. We we missed. We, we didn't. We didn't catch that. Uh, here, let's see if we can. Can I see this certification? Can we somewhere? We need to. We need to. We need to take note. Like, is there like a you know like I don't a think website you, security? Reggie, or? you didn't notice. You didn't notice. You missed out on the fact that this right here mm -hmm. was a certified classic. Word. It was so much of a classic that I just had to like look elsewhere. I don't think I'm qualified to watch this. You sure? Pretty sure. All right. If you say so, man. NPC keeps punching Trevor. During cutscene GTA 5. We are women. We are free. We're bringing into the patriarchy. We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are shouts. We are women. We are shouts. Shouts. We are shouts. women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. Shut the fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What up, What's dog? up, homie? <laughs> Good bug! What's going on? And then you need to skip forward to what time? 15 seconds later? 45. 45. That's actually amazing. Man, calm down. I have That's kind of incredible how this worked out. <laughs> You're not long for this world at this point, you fucking act. You what are the fucking odds? That is a, that is ridiculous. The timing is insane on this bug, dude. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. It's still funny. Unfortunately, man, you failed. <laughs> it was fun, all right? I apologize. Getting his ass whipped by Orange Man over there. Let's go. I accept <laughs> your Ooh. apology. Okay? Oh, there's another guy that came through. Stop falling. Stop falling, Let's dude. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Let's hug it out. <laughs> Is he lagging? <laughs> you all right? Dude. Just fucking on edge, you know? Look, 
I love you, right? But this is the absolutely the kind of bug that would just fucking just happen randomly. But like on this cutscene, oh my god! Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all too, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yank? Somebody pissed him, man. Who? Friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they Damn. got back out of him. Iron jaw. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that? Your bum fights? Your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me. I got a twenty on this guy. Right? And chances are, if and Ooh, when that I was see stiff. him. He's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. <laughs> Off camera. Oh, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. Uh, oh. What's the middle bug? What was that? Huh? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, assholes! Everybody! Assholes! <laughs> oh, you goddamn dead. Ah! Ow, shit. Okay. Shit. Yep. <laughs> But how? Incredible. That's pretty amazing. He could take some shots. D dude, absolutely iron jaw. <laughs> Paul Rugg, people ask me how I relax. Hi everybody, it's Paul. You know, a lot of people ask me, uh, after a long day of voiceover or writing or doing all those creative things that I do, um, how do I relax? Well, like many other Americans, uh, I come home and I, I pet my dog. You see, petting your dog oh! is one of the most relaxing things you can possibly do. It releases a hormone called the oxytocin, which reduces stress. Also, it lowers your heart rate and it lowers your blood pressure. Plus, people who pet their dogs are five times more likely to live longer than people who just have cats. Plus, the dogs like it so much, and it's a nice bonding experience. Blake, uh, why? Daddy, little boy. Daddy, little boy. You're in the Daddy, most calm boy. possible position. Being cuddled by the person you know the most. And the literal hand that feeds you. And you're just like... <laughs> what the fuck, man? Dear God! It. It loves it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking chihuahuas. No chill. Little dog. Uh, there's, a, there's a funny video of, like, uh, at, a, at the vet, like, uh, two vets. One was acting like different breeds of dogs. Okay. You know, and just, like, what it what, like what it's like. And, like, just they all, and the different breeds all have just ridiculous. And so, like, yeah, chihuahuas just, like, fuck you. Fuck everything. <laughs> right? And, like, the lab was just kind of, like... Give you my hand, but I don't want to look. You know, <laughs> and like the just the different the energies that they all give off. It was really, really funny. But like, yeah, man, this the smallest thing, the smallest little, you know, all bite, all bark, no weight to make up for it. Oh, God, it's amazing. It's amazing how you know. Small guy complex translates over yeah. to the animal kingdom. Oh, absolutely. Incredible. It's like they don't know. With their tiny little brains. How cute they are. Well, I mean, if they weren't being protected, they would be swallowed whole in the wild. Like, that attitude. Yeah, no, that's not evolution. Combined with, like, <laughs> anything of uh, just a decent size. Like, you're just lunch, you know? Yeah. Talk shit, get eaten. T Chihuahuas <laughs> would be fucking annihilated if left alone, man. Ascension of the Jackdaw. Oh, let's go. Black flag. Ass, ass in cream. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen this before. What the frick is this? This is fucking crazy. Just. Just Assassin's Creed things. I mean, it, it goes on, but like there's a, yeah, it, like okay, 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 it goes on, but there's a big hole 
where the boat is supposed to be and for we can for like three minutes or whatever and then the boat and then the boat the fucking boat comes out of the water oh wow it's just a, it's just an insane ass bug yeah as designed yep yep that's a <laughs> that's a classic in the in the qa pile um but guess what man ubisoft games dude that's fucking tuesday i see let's be real mm. those databases full of work god <laughs> full of work to be done <laughs> uh cute lamb needs attention Aww. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Who the fuck said? That's right. Who told yeah. you to stop? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's some good pets. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's some mm -hmm. good pets. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, I'm a happy lamb. Mm -hmm. I'm a happy lamb. Oh yeah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. That's a little scratch, scratch, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, that's good. That's bitch. Good. Hey, bitch. What? What the fuck? What? Hey, I will you fuck me. you up. I'm gonna I eat you up. Damn. I will. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, right, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. See? Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, that's some good. That's, right. mm, that's, that's what it's all about. Uh huh. That's the life, huh? Nice little sunny hill. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Is this not easy? That's some good scratch. You're, you're I what? will. And you I will eat your heart <laughs> right out of your chest cavity. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I know, hey. I know dogs like that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Who said stop? Who said stop? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm working on, from home on videos, and a dog comes under the arm and it's like raises my hand. I'm like, I'm trying to work. Okay. All right, Bailey. You just yeah, give him a yeah, few pets. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See, but I, I, I do, but I, I appreciate the directness of that. Right. So we have a neighborhood cat. Okay. And uh, it, out back, and like. It's been fucking hilarious because it likes to pretend that it gives no fucks about anyone, as cats do. Yeah. And, like, so it, like, we'd go stand out in our back and then, like, neighborhood cat would come by, hop the fence, right? And then roll over and then basically start doing its, like, the routine would be like, oh, I'm just walking over to take a look at uh, what's going on with this brick over here. Oh, that's an interesting plant. Let me just squeeze through your legs mm -hmm. and wrap around and then go look at this plant over here. Yeah. It's oh, interesting. Oh, hey, is that a... Hey, you got a chair over there. Let me go hop up right up against and take uh -huh. a look at this table, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what you want. Yeah. Just say it. Mm -hmm. Why are you fronting? And it's like, me, I ain't looking no, at anyone. Looking what you? There. I don't know what you... Mm? Yeah. Oh. oh, there's some new humans here. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go back over to where I usually hang out. And it's the fucking soonest sun sun. And did you try to pet it or anything? Or you just let it like walk it around? Weird. Like, Immediately. Gonna, there you go. Right? And it's like, okay, so what you up to? Yep. You played your games, right? And you're just, and like, you just met. But it's it's hilarious, yeah. dude. Like there's it's, it's trying to give that energy off, but it's never gonna fucking let you know that it needs it. Yeah. You know? There was a, a big cat uh, behind my friend's place, actually behind Waka's, and the neighbors in front across. They had a big fat cat that would walk around and sometimes go up the stairs and come and see us. So the cat rubs aggressively on you, mm -hmm. like just going on. But it's as soon as you try to pet it, it's like <laughs> so we're like. Okay, fine. I, I won't pet you. And it keeps on rubbing on you. But you can't touch it. Don't touch it. But it'll Jesus. rub all the smell all over your legs. Yo. Don't touch it, though. Fucking BDSM cat. <laughs> cat said no. No, you don't. My terms. <laughs> that is wild. Yo. Okay, so I see a name here. And that says, update day, Nirvana, the band, the show. And, uh, you know, a sketch. this has been vetted, so of course I assume it's not going to actually play Nirvana. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is what it's yeah, called. What? Yes! What? I'm in the bathroom. Update day for the uh. shopping channel. 
actual absolute classic. They do it at midnight, but it's like 11. It's like 11 15. Mm. What mm. time is it in Japan? Fucking turn that up. I love that grooving. What kind of music is that? Like a bossa nova beat? Dude, that beat is fire. That beat is legit flames. You know what we should do? We should we should write a song for our act with um titles of Wii games. Oh, I like it. I like it because everybody knows about the Wii Shopping Channel. Yeah. And everybody loves to shop on it every Wednesday. So what we'll do is we'll write a theme song for the Wii Shopping Channel. Look, watch this. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. That's blood. You can sing to the title. Have you seen this? Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Super Mario Three. Mega Man, Neo, Turf Masters, Breaking Star. You know what I mean, Jared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every Star, you say the lyrics of the. Let me try. Let me try one. Let me try one. Let me try. Super Mario RPG. Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong 3, Adventures of Lolo 1 and 2, uh. King's Knight, Dig Dug, Juman Fu, uh. Harvest Moon, <laughs> Write this song. Big Puzzle Pokemon, Toe Jam and Earl and Planet on Funko Tron. He's killing it. Castlevania, Fatal Fury, Ninja, Chuchu, Mario, Comet, Razor, Blazing, Lasers, Bases, Loaded, Mega, Turo, uh, Cyber, Nader, uh. Rolling, Thunder, Dynastic, Hero, Bubble, Bobble, Double, Dribble, Double, Dragon, and Damn. Zero. I get it. You remember my Zero X and Donkey Kong Jr. Man. What the fuck is that? Ninja Gaiden 1. What? Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden 2. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden 3. 3. Cruise in the USA. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god absolute fucking banger that was fire yes so um here here's what we do here's what we do you pull out your twitter chris in usa super mario rpg what the fuck is donkey kong math i have no idea but there's fucking isn't there like mario spelling or whatever educational games um oh. harvest moon but always surprised when i hear of like nes titles that i've never heard of before okay so you go on twitter and you look up come on we shop Wednesdays. We Wednesday. Okay. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. You go to We Wednesdays and you follow that account. And every Wednesday, there is a decent chance on your feed you will get this clip. And it's going to do the whole thing. And you're just going to be reminded of this banger ass song. And it's going to make your day a little bit better. Everyone, that's how I know I this. See. I don't know it as Update Day Nirvana, the band, the show. I know it as at We Wednesdays on Twitter. I see. It's great. And I watch it every time. Just play it in the background. Harvest Moon. Yeah. It's the I, and, and I remember when it first came out too, we were like, oh, like everyone is like the Wii is like a the, a brand new era for Nintendo, the revolution era, yada yada. And it's like that's all good. But nobody's talking about the fact that it added a whole bunch of classic music to the Nintendo library. You know? The Wii Shop music, the Wii the the eShop, um the Mii Plaza themes. Do, do, do. <laughs> Amazing. 
amazing. And like, I'm like, that is right up there in terms of memorability and just like instant, like, oh yeah, you're up there. You're, you're duh, duh, like, duh, 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 you yeah. know? Like you added to that classic library of Nintendo theme songs, um, and I was happy that that they made it into Smash because it's like they absolutely deserve to. That music needs to be yeah, fucking yeah, preserved. Yeah. So that skit just a hundred percent underlines it. Follow We's when We Wednesdays, so good. <laughs> Uh, bu- 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 the Eliminist explained. Elimist, excuse me. If you were a writer in the 90s and you had to create an all-powerful, all-knowing god for your serialized sci-fi book series for kids, and you wanted to do it in the laziest, most boring way possible, that was, you that could was, describe them as an old white guy with a I long saw a bunch of beard. Animorphs Others did by. it. Hell, your direct inspiration did it. And a lesser story probably would. But this is god damn, god it, animorphs. damn animorphs. Son of a bitch. I recognize that logo anywhere. So, billions of years before the Earth was formed, on the other side of I the galaxy, there was a race called the Kepler. Never. They were bird creatures who lived on continent-sized crystals I was that reading, floated over a toxic I was reading and they had Goosebumps. Uh, and, um, oh, you're afraid of the, No, 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 no. No, that was not There was book. no books for that. Yes. Yeah. Goosebumps. I was reading me some Goosebumps. I was reading me some Dragonlance. But Animorphs was starting to be a thing. Um, Might have been towards the end. Because I don't think it was popping off when I was actually... Like, I want to say it was towards the end of my, my my school era. I think it was a bit of a younger thing. But still, um, never once either bothered. And then come to find out they're fucking wild intergalactic wars and then fuck. They just, they just go off the chains. And some of the summaries people have told over the years have been the most batshit fucking mushroom trip ass things ever. The, and you're like, this is for kids how? And most of the time, flapping their wings to keep a continent in the sky because if too many of them stop, their entire society would come crashing down around them, which probably isn't a metaphor for capitalism. But one day, they invent Twitch, and it destroys their civilization. The Kent broadcast video games where they do to alien races what you do to your sims. Another alien race picks up these broadcasts and goes all Galaxy Quest thinking they're real, and so they show up to annihilate the Kent before they kill again. A small group of Kent manage to escape on a spaceship and spend their lives trying to find a suitable home for birds who live on flying rocks. Instead, they find a moon covered with water, which is like the exact opposite and then the moon attacks them. One cat, Tumen, who used to be a filthy casual gamer back home, wakes up and finds himself underwater. His body has been infested by tendrils penetrating his nervous system. The, the entire frick? planet is covered by one spongy creature known as Father who has grafted members of thousands of other species onto himself creating a hive mind trapped forever. Under the sea. So there's nothing to do but play video games. Tumen loses over and over to Father until he finally gets good which pisses Father off. Are you winning son? Yes. Oh! Tumen slowly starts to absorb the other people that Father had infested, and he keeps winning and keeps absorbing and winning and absorbing and winning and absorbing until eventually he has become Father himself. A thousand minds trapped inside his head, he starts building a massive spaceship body database thing. He hacks himself into a fleet the size of several planets, and life is pretty cool like that for a while, until a toxic gamer enters the chat. Another being, Krayak, is apparently just like Tumen, an abhorrent conglomeration of machine and flesh with the power of a cosmic god, except Krayak has a Joker avatar, so he likes destroying worlds just to watch them burn. Tumen doesn't like that, so he chases Krayak around the universe, trying to save the worlds that Krayak is trying to destroy, and they fight each other for millennia until Tumen trips and falls into a black hole. This puts Tumen in a fifth dimensional closet from Interstellar, and much like Matthew McConaughey, he's now able to pluck the strings of reality, playing them like a poorly tuned piano. Eventually, Krayak manages to find his way into the same interdimensional space, and the two agree that if they ever fought each other directly, it would destroy the universe. So instead, they'll have a proxy war, playing games with mortals like the Animorphs for all eternity. Now Tumen, with the vast knowledge of countless civilizations and the experience of eons, lives with great and terrible power, standing as the lone force against an equally powerful evil that he can never hope to defeat, but only to keep at bay. And that Tumen's gamer tag? Albert Elmist. Animorphs is stupid. <laughs> 
It sounded kind of cool. It sounded oh, kind of cool. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. That's my shit. Oh, my God. I missed out. No? I don't know, man. I'm going back to Dragonlance. <laughs> yes. Have your fantasies. I'm going, I'm going back to Goosebumps. The hero of your own <laughs> book. Uh... But I'll tell you one thing. You like you want to write young, young, uh, whatever, young novels for young adults. The world and the gods of the world are all about playing video games with each other on a cosmic level. Yeah, that's the most. That's the highest priority thing that could ever occur. Is my score on the leaderboard? Yes. Right. Jeff it up. Keep it simple. <laughs> oh God. Aaron earned an iron urn Baltimore accent. Yep. 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 <laughs> this one's great. I say Baltimore accent, say this phrase out loud. Iron urn and iron urn. Hold on, my iron urn. Aaron urn and iron urn. Dude, what the fuck? We really talk like that? Mm -hmm. Let me see it. The realization. Iron, iron, iron. <laughs> Let me see. It's like, hold on. Iron, iron, the iron, iron. <laughs> what? Iron, iron, the iron, iron. No, Aaron no. earned an iron. Yeah, nigga. Iron, yeah, iron, 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 iron. Yeah, iron, nigga. Shit. Iron, 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 iron. <laughs> and iron, iron. Yo, what's the iron? Iron, iron, iron. <laughs> it's not that, dummy. It's Aaron. It's, it's iron, iron, and iron, iron. Dummy. Aaron earned an iron, iron. Iron, iron, and iron, 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 Physical comedy. Are you kidding? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loader with a society that is banging him and beats him like trash, I'll man. tell you what you can. Run in the dick! Run in the uh, dick! Get what you fucking deserve! <laughs> <laughs> This karma. I got twice what I wanted. Oh, <laughs> so good. I said not in the dick, but I wanted the dick. I got oh. two dicks. That was awesome. Damn, dude. That was legendary. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy he got it immediately. Immediately. Seconds later. That was in slow motion, so it was even faster than we saw it. Right? There wasn't even... Exactly. There was, like, not even a second worth... Of like realization before life came right back at you. God, I love that. Oh. He threw the thing. He didn't even have time to process the feelings of I just hit that person. Like square in the jewels. I have problems with Giorno Giovanna. I you wanted like his dreams. I wanted a lot more out of uh uh the son of Dio. Passione, gang star. Yeah. I've said it many times. That part should have been about Bruno. Right? Where the fuck is he going? <laughs> and Wooly Jojo. But when you have that little part in the beginning where you swing at that frog and the second you do, whatever you did happens to you immediately and the karma reverses itself, yeah. that is godlike. I love that. And I wish that on so many people in life. I wish on so many people in life. If only it could be like that. The moment they try to do some shit like that, it instantly happens back to them. You know? And then you have a chance of going like, hmm, should I have done that? <laughs> Was that the right way to go? And you can have a little moment. Mm -hmm. You know? You can think about that action. But you do so from the floor because the racket that you just threw 
just hit you in the balls. Yep. yep. You know? Beauty. Maybe even like the tip of the shaft, just to like make it like grain. thing, you know? Oh, like the grains. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes the straight on is even less mm -hmm. because there's more surface area. To the do. glancing blow. Yeah, the glancing blow. Oh. It doesn't all have the surface area to absorb the impact. It can be worse. It can linger longer. That's it. <laughs> Hit him with that fafo, you know? Ooh, love it. So good. Run it back. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill All right. I missed. I looked like a fool. I fucked up. So upset. Now he loses it. Man, I'm mad. Win. Bro. Fuck you. Oh. For being better than me. The racket. Going down. How dare you? That's oh. nice. Take it. Oh. <laughs> so good. So good, dude. We live in a society. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, a just society. Not always. In fact, I would say rarely. Rarely. But that day, justice was But good. that's why you have to appreciate it when it's good. Justice is fleeting. <laughs> but oh, when it happens, you know? Damn, dude. man yeah no there's some the accuracy on that yeah no that's that's fat. You, you throw that up on uh fucking justice porn subreddit <laughs> instant karma yada yada all that shit all that shit you know do unto others as you would have them do unto you curb your pipeline these pipeline projects will wipe out vast tracts of land that will prevent us from doing our berry picking, our medicines, so that's what you'll be wiping so? out. Oh, no. And like I said, the fur-bearing animals, which we trap and depend on for income, and our salmon is our staple food. You'll be wiping out all our food sources. So what you're telling us is that you will not allow us access onto the territory. We understand that. We thank you for your time here today. We are the authority of this territory, yes. the province is we brought you an offering. We've left some water, some uh, tobacco yes, for you. We've got clean water right there. That's what you drink. And that's okay. pollution, the plastic that we cast in the window. Sure, we brought you plastic, and that's the... That's the... Okay. See, I fully expected the theme song to kick in as soon as it just cut to the pipeline being built anyways yeah because that's how that usually oh, goes, absolutely you know but uh, you don't want the water bottles all right well you know just pack up and leave yeah and yeah good stuff some some, some smokes <laughs> you know as your people yeah all right huge fans of you love tobacco right mm-hmm we brought you an offering of chicken and watermelon. <laughs> Problem? Homie, where's the grape juice? Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Grape drank. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. At least, at least it was, at least, yeah. That, that you know, they, that could have been edited in many a different way, but uh, there we are. Uh, Mr. Beast admits he does... Mr. Beast influential call with you. okay. Crime four fifty six. What why? I know you're big into crypto. Yeah. Crypto's been killing it, man. Especially for you. Agreed. I mean and I mean you've been doing pretty well as, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well I, I you know, I like the space. I remember you called me um maybe, maybe like eight months ago. And I like, don't eh. I don't want to watch this. What just some NFT bullshit? He's pushing garbage and it and it's a crime and it sucks and it's stupid because you have like insider trading. He's ripping and... off people. I completely do not have any interest in watching this. I don't know why it was submitted. Sum it up for me, please, if there's any reason to watch this at all. Is there anything? Okay. Get the fuck out of here. We're not we're not diving into fucking stupid drama shit for yeah. Crypto crimes, crypto scams. Guess what? Mr. Beast admitted to insider trading on camera. Okay. 
mm, that's what I expected the yeah, to be. Probably. <laughs> sure. Pastor claims Starbucks is adding semen to their coffee. Let's go. Oh, so that's a skip and not a common change. Oh, you're right. Yeah, fair enough. No, that's true. That's true. Technically. Technically. Damn, that sounds interesting. Though. Well. But the rules are the rules. You're right, Reggie. This, I, like, I just read, like, this just reads as a, like, why, why even add this kind of content to the list? That's not even slop or interesting or anything I'd give a fuck about. Um, that's just a hard no, don't. Um, but yeah, a skip is a skip. That's fine. But uh, that that title did get me <laughs> did get me interested. <laughs> uh, so it is Reddit's turn. It is Reddit's turn. All right, fair enough. Uh, I don't make the rules. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we are not lawless. All right, Kendall on sharecropping field trip. Oh, yes. Have oh, we seen this before? A racist field trip I have ever have been on in my fucking life. They took us to a fucking cotton processing place. <laughs> I don't think and there so. was a big ass cotton field out in the middle of fucking Raymond, Alabama, in the south of Montgomery County. We went there, and me and 28 other little nigglets in Miss Harper's third grade classroom, they took our asses out there in the middle of the fucking August heat and said, hey, y'all, they gave us bags and shit, like little cute little plastic bags. <laughs> With a cute, with a cotton puff person with a smile on his face, and they're like, "Hey, y'all go out, y'all go out there, have fun, pick as much cotton as you want." And so I'm the my close stupid up ass does it went, for me. you know, I went. My mama signed off on it and didn't think about it, yes, and I yes. went to the fucking field trip. I did the field just having a good old time. We were singing songs and shit <laughs> in the middle of the motherfucking field, picking goddamn cotton in the middle of the fucking heat. And then, you know, I'm thinking, because it's a field trip, they told us you can pick as much as you want. Hey, you get to keep the fucking guy. Mm -hmm. You can keep it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it. And we go, go to get back on the bus. They're like, all right, kids, turn your bags in. <laughs> and they take our asses inside and took all the damn cotton that we had. And then told us to get back on the fucking bus. So me being a little rebel, I took a handful of cotton, stuffed it in my oh pocket, my and went home. God. Then my mama came when she was doing laundry the next night. She was like, what the fuck? Is this cotton in your back pocket? I was like, yeah. Where the hell did you get unprocessed raw cotton from? Well, yesterday on that field trip, they took us to a, a cotton processing plant, and we got to pick cotton all day long. My mama came to the school, and I swear to God, that shit went down. She locked this woman in a room like, how dare you jive-ass motherfuckers take my kids and all these other ashy little Negroes to a fucking cotton field in the middle of the summer. You fucking soul little bitch. She fucking checked me out of school. Oh, I didn't go to school for three days buying that shit. She said, I don't want to have to look at that bitch. She was pissed at everybody. Yes, that was the most racist shit I've ever gone through in my oh, life. Shit. I didn't even understand what was wrong until the next year. I didn't even Damn, understand. Dude. I just thought we didn't were just going to have some fun in the field. <laughs> so fuck that shit. That was fucking shit cropping if I ever seen it. Fuck that shit. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm about to recheck. Yep. Mm. Yep. All right, everybody. All right, picking these. I mean, class. <laughs> Come on off the bus now. <laughs> oh, um, bro, yeah. Yep. I see that. That's a classic. Hustle or scam? That's a hustle. <laughs> That's a hustle. Wow. Top to bottom. That is a hustle. I mean, no one no one got scammed. They all had a good time, right? There is a machine to pick the cotton these days. There does not need to be any human beings doing it whatsoever. But some people involved try to create that scenario. That is a hustle. <laughs> and you don't need to pay them either. You're saving on that. Oh, God. Turn in your cotton at the end of the day, man. Child labor is so affordable. That's, so affordable. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> artists who draw hands versus artists who draw It's feet. finished. Time to post it. Yep. Beautiful work. Well yep. done on the hand. You're so good at drawing hands. Please teach me.
私の名は嫌いを仕掛けた。あはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあは Good bit, good、Inside、bit. Sorry, you elder、mm-hmm. freak. Yep. Gee, I wonder how that made it onto the list. I have no idea. The only card Patrick Bateman will ever need. Is that a grab? New card. What do you think? <laughs> oh, very nice. Look at that. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll say it with you. <laughs> say it then. <laughs> Come on. No one's stopping you. Sometimes you got to switch over to the Sam Jackson track of it. We are not doing this interview until you say it. <laughs> this interview will not continue、no, until you、wrong. say it. <laughs> yep. Sometimes you got to switch it up. You got to flip tracks, you know? Flip the script. Oh, God. All right. Friend cast clips that aged like fine milk. Folks, folks, I love you. I really do. I'm not doing 10 minutes of friend cast. Sorry, guys. We're just not doing that. All right. I get it. That's cool. But I'm just, I'm not, I'm not interested. That's okay. All right. All right. In your own time, do your own thing. Yeah, coward, whatever you want to call me. That's fine. That's cool. Do it. Call me whatever you want. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested, man. Pastor claims Starbucks is adding semen to the coffee. Very interested in this. Okay. Let me know how much I need in my PSL. But the deal is this is that. The woman didn't realize who's, who's an associate. Her name was Jess or something, Jessica.、Um, Jess or something. That when questioning me about Starbucks and his latte, he s a i d it's a really it's a concoction of milk.、Uh, the John Stewart woman、uh, associate. I said, yes, it is a concoction of milk with some flavoring in it. Yes.、Um, and I said to her that milk is something that's produced. By the mammary glands, and it is a body fluid, however, albeit produced by the mammary glands. And people tend to like its taste, it tends to nourish people, it tends to give life. It's probably, you know, it's, it's a strange thing that milk comes from the mammary glands, and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I said that semen, because you know, I had this thing going back a year ago with me talking about semen and, 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 and Starbucks lattes, and they do put it in there. Many people slammed me and said I should get off of it. One guy wrote me and told me he wasn't going to send me any more offerings until I stopped talking about Seba,、uh, semen、uh, in Starbucks coffee. I told him to keep his offerings.、Uh, but at any rate, the、uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. Oh. It's something that's produced Look at your face. by the testicle glands of a man. People tend to like milk that's produced by the mammary glands of a woman. Starbucks has figured out that people tend to like semen that's produced by the testicle glands of a man. So, what's I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It sounds too much. It sounds too much like the shit, I, like people I know. Like, it's like, like the level of insanity that、yeah. would show up then every Sabbath with like different conspiracies on things and then have the conviction of like. Just absolute certainty. Yeah. That, yeah. And this is how it sounds. Okay, okay, okay. But before I ask you why you're still eating meat, how about we finish what he has to say first? Okay. I'm going to finish what he has to say. I'm taking damage.、Uh-huh. I just need everyone to know I'm、yeah. taking real damage. Right. Because this is exactly、okay. how it sounds. You meat eater. Yeah, you. What's the big deal if they mix milk and semen together? Makes for some people a nice taste. Now, I don't go to Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, first of all. Oh, okay. But when I said that, 
I know they're not going to air that. I know they're not going to edit that. I know they're going to put that on the air. They're not going to do that. But don't argue with me. Athlon.org. Support the ministry. Give using Milk, PayPal. Mammary glands, semen, Gotta give your 10%. testicle uh -huh. glands. Both are naturally produced by the body. That's worth $20. And a lot of people worth tend to like right? them. So Starbucks has figured it out. So they blend the little semen synthetic with their synthetic blends of milk. And people drink Starbucks coffee. I don't. Money for the semen pastor. And I will not. And I advise you, don't drink it either. Well, that's, but that's Let the. Let you drink some you synthetic semen. But that's the swerve, Reggie, is the delivery is to make it sound that way in order to set it up to be like, hey, this normal everyday in, in, in harmless thing mm -hmm. is actually, uh, did you know Satan? Did you know Satan was behind insert harmless random mm -hmm. thing? He's actually, testing you. You know, that's the exact same conviction because that the problem is back then there was that that is what happens when, OK, after the service is finished, right? You come out into because I mean again you didn't really have a ton of that shoved your way right no 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 yeah you really. managed to yeah. more or less be grade like, school they you were a secular of, ass kid yeah, yeah. Um, grade school they push it on you a bit my mother was religious but I went to church like maybe a handful but of no times. one was devout, I was not right? like weekly devout yeah, 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 every yeah, time yeah. reading the scripture so, studying every things week. crying yeah because, that was not because 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 I'm like because you so you can look at this from a distance and find it as hilarious as it is. It's kind of scary. Right. But that is after you are your let after the, the service lets out, you go into the fellowship hall. And in the fellowship hall is where everyone ha holds hands and you say a prayer and then you do a little get together and you mm -hmm. have a little bit of, you know, whatever um, um, communion like style, you know, uh, whatever fellowship. And then you have the lunches and the, the dinner and the, the food comes out and everyone sits around and does stuff. And around that time when everyone's just kind of hanging out, that's when people come around and that's when that dude comes and goes, you know, you know what's going on at Starbucks though, eh? And then he's like, oh my God, what is he going to say? You don't know about your sister, sister, sit down. Let me tell you what's happening mm -hmm. at Starbucks, mm -hmm. you know? And you're just like, what the fuck is it this time? And it's that shit. But yep. there was never anyone uploading it to YouTube, you know? And you get that. T that's the same conviction with which it was delivered to me that um, every Halloween, the whole point of Halloween is to is that children are taken into the forest and sacrificed to Molech. You uh, know? Yes. Um. And and uh, or the 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 cramp the story of Krampus and Old Nick and Saint Nick and that whole thing where it's like actually Christmas is uh, celebrating the devil actually. That's oh what that was yeah, that's like, why it's all the it's same it's level of of conviction, the same level of conviction that uh, like hey, I've like you haven't heard the news about the computer chip called the Beast in Switzerland. They have the Beast computer, and actually it's a chip that's for the for the you put it in your forehead. And then there's another identifier that you put in your hand and the two together allow you to do any kind of transactions. And this is way before interact with before the beep chip system, mind you. And, and if we look right here in revelation, it says that the mark of the beast will be in his hand and his forehead. So we right here is, is prophecy fulfilled. Oh my God. And, and that's how, you know, excuse me, hold on. And that's how, you know, that these are the end times you see, we can't be fooling around anymore. We have to get serious. We have to be faithful because the end is right around the corner. We never know, but these are the signs of the times and we've been told about them. And you don't want to be caught saying, oh, I didn't know. I chose to not hear it when here it was right in front of us the whole time. And you're hearing about it now and you choose to do what you will with this information. But on that day, we know when the trumpet sounds what's going to happen and who will be caught lacking and who will be caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. Well. And if you're not one of those, if you're not among the tribes of Judah, if you're not among the 144,000, then where are you? You know where you are. Eh, I don't know. I think this and little woolly this, this is neural like, link is fine. Got it. World is about to end any day now. Yep. Understood. Okay. Right. We've got seconds left. Mm -hmm. Are you praying? Oh, you uh, every day. You best be. We've got seconds left. You best be praying. Cool. And then next week, 
We're still here. Mm-hmm. What's going on next week? Where's that? Where's that chip? Where's the, the the Halloween? Nobody reported any murders. What? No. But but this week actually, there's uh, a new evil. Yo, evil yo, changes. Have you yo, have you heard? It morphs. Mm-hmm. You know, Microsoft. When you take the letters and you translate, you know, because the biggest, the most, the most profitable company in the world, right? Microsoft, mm-hmm. that, of course. You know, when you turn the numbers, the letters, and, and then you you add them up. And you get 66, but, but if you think about how much money Bill Gates is worth at the time, and then you add that, then you get the extra six. And that is a sign of the beast. And you know what that is. And you know this, that's another sign. And these are the signs of the times. And we're told that he's going to come any day now. And you got to watch out. And you got to be looking out for these things. And you have to be ready to flee from the cities. You have to be ready to run to the countryside. You have to be ready for Sunday law when they force everyone to worship, when church and state come together. And you are going to have to say goodbye to your friends. You're going to have to say goodbye to everyone. You're going to have to leave it all behind. So you have to be ready and you have to be to continue to be faithful because you never know when it's going to happen. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Okay. So not last week, but this week. Okay. Cool. Damn. See you next week. Hold on to that for a week. How many Sabbaths in a year, Reggie? 52. Yeah, that'll drill a hole in your brain. How many years you want that to roll? 10? 20? How about Any yeah, day now. Yeah. And that fucking guy with the semen in the coffee, sound, it sounds exactly like that. Mm-hmm. Dying. Dude, I can't. You can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to suffer like this. You good? I mean, <laughs> I just ah, uh, dog does a hadoken. Let's keep it. Let's let's keep it light. Let's, let's keep it light. Dog does a Hadouken. Yeah. Damn, dude. I'm like... (laughs) I'm just looking at the like... Let's fucking... Logan Paul, Mr. B. Go watch some Fred Cat. Fucking church. I'm like, can I just click on dog does a Hadouken? And get... Like, where are we going now? I'm afraid. What's going on? Oh, I I think... I think you've been hurt. But then, <laughs> oh, okay. I, not, I just realized you're, Christ, you're hurt. Man. I just realized you're hurt right now. I didn't see it until now. I'm sorry. She's jumping and punching is what I'm saying. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, EX as well. That's crazy. Even Tiger need to dodge the command throw. That dog is godlike. Reggie, did you see the inputs? Reggie, that's insane. Reggie, give me the what is the input? Stop. What is the input for for frame skip? Um. Oh, it's um period and comma is one frame backward. Fucking. Oh, you don't believe the dog? Ah, oh, use a hater. Use a hater, man. Just because you can't do a Hadouken properly, you think a dog won't be able to do it? Shit. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> that dog ain't on modern controls. <laughs> Alright, what was it? Okay, so period is one frame forward. And? And comma is one frame backward. Okay. 
why is the angle of the camera, first of all, why is the angle of the camera obscuring the stick and the action? The dog is trying. Reggie, that's not what I asked you. Y you saw what that neck did. I saw what it did. I'm asking why the angle of the camera is obscuring the arcade okay. stick at you, all. You know what? I will, I will give you benefit of the doubt and I will go with you. Okay. Let's see if this is trickery. If, if you're sitting down to film your dog bite, because that's the neck biting the stick. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting down to film your dog bite the stick and do the input, because that is a miracle action. I just want to know why the camera angle is in such a place where it would hide the actual right. input. Okay. That's, that's just, I would, would your instinct to be to put the camera behind the dog? If you wanted to show this, or would it be to put it to the side where you can get the no, screen fair, and stop? You you want more conclusive evidence that the dog is actually that's doing it. the Hadouken? Just one more question. Sir? Just one more thing. Wooly is like, that dog can't be that good. And then it's hitting the button. It's it's and that button. And look, look at the head movement. Okay, okay. And and, and so if the palm is on is going on to medium and heavy at the same time instead of hitting the three, right? Yeah. So, we're calling that an EX input, right? Uh-huh. And even went up. And then the dog looked at the screen. All right. Now, on the training mode, we're seeing... All right. So, he's going from, like, back, and then it's going down, down forward. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, it's not perfectly clean. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly clean. It's not perfectly trying, clean. It's trying. Okay. And then back to down... Forward. Down, down forward and then up because it's a dog and it's like precise but the input comes out one frame after the uh the forward or rather well right after the before the up input so the buffer is still clean yeah and that's a tiger knee ex fireball which might dodge yeah. command throws yeah which is godlike for a dog Because it's Tiger and you got that, that the jump frames, but you're canceling the jump frames into the Hadouken. Now, now can be thrown. absolutely possible, if not plausible, right? Furthermore, and here's here's to the credit, the plastic on that stick is Maybe because of the dog. Because that denotes somebody who's trying to get their dog to learn something mm -hmm. would want to protect their stick. So the layers of saran wrap we see are probably there to help avoid drool and such, right? Now that's an honest thing to do because otherwise why would you wrap your stick in plastic? So very, very much, uh, very plausible, right? That is a that is a, 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 a clue in the affirmative. Um, do I want to live in a world where a dog could do an AX, EX Hadoken more than anything? Yes. But can I look away from the things that bring question marks out. Right. No, that's fair. That's fair. No. Columbo wants to go home at the end of the day. I want to. I just want to go home. You had reasonable doubt. I just want to take my shoes off at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I want that dog in modern mode. You know? I want to see it shine. I want to live in that world. But I, I just... I have these little questions that I need to know the answer to. And and I suppose with that comes the idea that with this is this the only successful uh, time it's happened? Has Jess Bell been able to get the dog to do this more than once? Ooh, this is a dog that has done all kinds of tricks. Oh, we've got a oh, there are so many animals doing things and cinema and photographs and dog tricks. Oh, we've got a Cohen. super talented dog. In your face! In your face! Reggie. Cohen can do everything. Reggie, I didn't say it was impossible. I know. I, I said I want that to I want to live in that world. I, I believe the dog. I could as a Ryu player, I could tell that that dog was the real shit. Okay. So this is this is looking like a very coordinated dog used to fine motor skills. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good evidence. Let's go, Cohen. Ooh. That's precision. Good dog. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Okay. It's dog like. Okay.
Let's see. Uh, these are the most recent uploads. Uh, starting 12 years ago. Which one was the Hadoken one? Uh, well, less than eight years ago, because it would have to be after Street Fighter V's release. It certainly would. Right there. It's there. Okay. Dog Hadoken. Dog, Dog Hadoken 2. Okay. Dog Hadoken. So we watch this one. She's jumping and punching is what I'm saying. Is this the one we watched? No, we didn't watch no, this it's one. A no, this no. is the other one. No, this is not. And you're gonna... Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And then this one is just... And you're gonna... Holy shit. This one is just a clean... And this one's also okay. with the slowdown added to it. Yeah. She's jumping in. Okay, it, it happened once. If that's a little treat in your hand. It's uh, a clicker, maybe. It's a, a clicker? To get the attention? Yeah, you can use clickers to train dogs and like get them to react or like be a certain way. Okay, it, it here's the click. Click, click and, and... that's good. Click, click. So we, we, click, without click. a treat. Yeah, click, listen, yeah. Get your attention. Okay. You use the clicker. as The click is the reward. Yeah, it's like, it good replaces, job. Okay, it replaces the treat. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jumping and punching is what I'm Right saying. over here. Hits the, hits the button. Hits the three punch button. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, no. Inputs are already haven't changed. When does the input change? Right, right around here, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit, yeah. Hits. Push uh, two buttons at the same time. Hits two buttons at the same time. Yeah, which does the medium punch. Yeah. Then a jab there. Mm hmm. Smelling. Just nose on the buttons, not uh -huh. grabbing the stick. Now he's saying yeah. grab the stick. Uh huh. And the grabbing of the stick leads to the jump. The jump. Oh yeah, I know it's real. He's he was bitten. He was biting it. Okay, so the bite. The here's this extra clip makes it way more believable because that fucked up because the jump yeah is the moment that the stick gets grabbed yeah as opposed to you grab the stick and it's perfectly neutral yeah. and then you go clean down to yeah. Hadoken, right? <laughs> but by seeing the jump, you know that that's the grip first, yeah. and then from there <laughs> you roll it around. <laughs> Which the, stabilizes and then does it, right? Way, way more context for that. Absolutely. Holy shit! It's real. <laughs> it's real. Awesome. <laughs> Good shit. Awesome clip. Uh. Uh. What was it? Cohen. Cohen? Good dog. Cohen doing good. Okay, now, what the... You, why, what, what, what the fucking hostility over trying to get to the bottom of what we're looking at? Is the, is the positioning of the camera not a legitimate question? I said you have reasonable doubt. Okay. So then, and then immediately, fuck but you. But at the same time, fuck you, dog is crushing it. Dog is crushing it. Dog is crushing it. Dog is crushing it. Why are you doubting? Agree. Why are you doubting? Because of the reasonable doubt that exactly. you just said that I had. Yes. You're right, and I'm super right. <laughs> you just said I have reasonable doubt. We don't have to both be wrong. You just said I have reasonable doubt. We don't have doubt. to both be wrong. And then you go, why are you doubting the reasonable doubt that I just said? We can both be right. I am glad we live in a world where a dog can do a EX Hadouken. I am not glad we live in a world where a dog is doing an EX Hadouken in Street Fighter V. Good dog. Good dog. Got here. Let's see it do a run stop fierce. Can you do a run stop fierce? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what I asked you. That's not what I said. The dog could do a blanket ball. Maybe it could go, go, do the ground shave roll. <laughs> maybe. Maybe go. Ah, ah, ah. What about ah, ah, ah. what about a pretzel? <laughs> oh. What about a raging storm? 
Yeah. That I would pay to see. What about a shot of Earth input? Mm, no, 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 no. That's, that's, yeah. that's too complicated. The classic? That's too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. I want to believe. I just need to know. Mm -hmm. You know? Cerberus wants to recruit Batarians. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. Two things before you go. Our research facilities have found a new way to further humanity's interests. This is the intel. Despite their low population numbers compared to other Milky Way species, it is now verified that Batarians are responsible for over half of the violent felonies in Council space. Cerberus needs to form an alliance with the Batarians if we are to succeed against the Reapers. The path forward is clear. Befriend Batarians. Respect Batarians. Roundhouse kick Batarian friendships into existence. Slam dunk some tummy tingling Tuchanka sauce into Batarian baby mouths. Love thy Batarian. Share some food with a Batarian. Launch Batarians into Geth space as part of high paying astronaut jobs. Warn Batarians not to fall into active volcanoes. Share life experiences with Batarians. Watch TV and play video games with Batarians. Invite Batarians to parties. Do not report Batarians to the Alliance military. Karate chop Batarian stereotypes in half. Give up your seat for pregnant Batarians. Free. No, I don't think I will. Call and switch. Stan Twitter. Filipino choir singing Amen. Oh, well, long hung gone. that's awesome because like the fact that that was even found and picked out it you know because that's just a normal ass service a random moment of a random service that could be anywhere but <laughs> but uh yeah but but that got clipped all right. Insane ban appeal. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. I'm not sure what you're suffer why you're suffering already, but... Because this appears to be a thumbnail for a VTuber, so someone who's a fan of a VTuber that got banned is now going to try to send a message in to try or, to get unbanned. Or it's someone appealing to the VTuber to get unbanned that's exactly what i'm saying okay no i thought you said the vtuber was banned and no was no 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 okay. no no someone who got banned from, from the VTuber's VTuber's yeah, chat yeah. okay yes is yes. now going to appeal to unban themselves yes yes okay. to the moderators of the vtuber's Sorry. channel yeah. which means we're going and staring into the fucking heart of darkness so i'm groaning in anticipation of what the fuck this is about to be uh, considering we just talked about the difference between the whole thing with like VTube and yada yada, and then the worst of the people that are into it, forcing people in Japan in in fighting games to have to create euphemisms like kawaii while playing the video game. Mm -hmm. I'm groaning in anticipation of that. Okay. All right. Big fat nerdy nerd. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was off my mind. Hold on, let him cook. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that can happen. What a start. That can happen. I mean, no build up. No ramp! <laughs> Just right. Uh, 
No, you're yeah, no, you're cool. Yeah, no, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Let's see? That was good. Frame one. Big fat nerdy nerd. Hi. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of amazing that like she even took the risk of like Sorry, pulling up the ban. Do you know what I mean? Like, like the wildness that li like lurks in going into the chat log, yeah, is a dangerous place to go to begin with. So, very bad. Fallen Shadow, I mean, that is that is a courageous thing to do. Um, <laughs> it's not good in there. It's it's not good in there, man. Wow. Okay. You know, I just, there's something to that that's just like, I don't know if you've seen them, but like there's these amazing moments that happen on Twitter where you'll see like, I don't know, like just an interracial couple or something. And then just like a quote tweet where it's like, uh, this motherfucker really woke up this morning and said, I'm about to end my whole race and my lineage. I'm about to betray my kind. And like shit like that on like the quotes right and then you just you look at the top left and 100 percent of the time it's a fucking anime profile pic it's some cute anime girl with like a little hat edited onto them or some stupid fucking or some bullshit and it's just like it is a undying constant of the universe that you see that type of avatar coming right hand in hand with that type of shit Every time. That's rough. Unbelievable, the consistency of it. You know? Some fucking K-On shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, what is it? What is the pipeline? I don't know how they fall out. What is the fucking K-On to racial purity pipeline? I don't know. But it just every time. It's crazy. Anyway, dude, it's out there if you haven't seen it. I'm good. I'm really, really good. I mean, yeah, obviously the answer is 4chan, but like on a more, <laughs> on a more direct level, you know? Oh man. Well, Godspeed. Texting a Z-Link fan animation. <laughs> Is this Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda? <laughs> Breath of the Wild, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong sticker. Nice. See, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Everything up on the last two seconds where he's actually flustered is, is where I kind of like it. It did lose me a bit because I'm like, Link should just be actually like being like, no, what? I'm throwing these stickers out, and now I have a pot, and now I'm hang gliding. Oof. What's happening? Is that a, is that a, Lionel? Just like the the level of of obliviousness with which Link operates in every one of these games is legendary. Um, that was cute. Prozy the sketch. Always the goat. Hey, it's nice to meet you. This world is imperfect. What? If only I could wipe away the impurities. Is anybody else listening to and this? make it as beautiful as me. <laughs> yes. <gasps> when you start my a new game Sandoroth, and the character is going to you. All this? Yes, it was I. My machinations lay undetected for years. For I am a master of deception. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does he just know? Dude, character designs need to stop just like wearing their intentions on their sleeves, you know? Normal, random people can have fancy clothing, have cool you know trimmings to them you can put some work into that 
You don't have to have the NPC random generator and then the one. Yeah. You know? Uh, budget on versus budget off. I mean, we're going back in time on the on the current LPs, and boy, are we feeling that. Um, here I am clamoring for playable, depowered Beatrix. And yeah. It turns out we got ourselves a fucking General Leo on the horizon. Seto Kaiba is fucking wait, insane. Wait, wait, wait. Did I skip one by mistake? When you start a new okay, game? No, that's the one, this one, this one, this one. No, overseas viewers, yeah. Whoops. Overseas viewers get confused at Sui-chan suddenly saying fucking hollow live. あれ<笑><笑><笑> ファーストキッチンに訳してファッキンなんや。ファーファーキファーキファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。ファーキ。
Newfound respect. Yeah. I respect the shit out of that. Like, I'm telling you, like, I think we, we missed out on some good shit. Yo, hit him with some Hideakiano. I didn't like the ending. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking sick. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You know, I think, um, yeah, I think the, the bad ending slash sad ending gets, uh, gets not enough not enough praise a lot of the time depending on how it's done right the bad ending is in not the ending was poorly done but the bad ending is in things did not go well and the day was not necessarily saved or better yet the day was saved but at what cost mm. you know mm. i think there's been a lot of them that were uh going through it i've seen a lot of I feel like I have memories of people having like raw reactions that are just like super upset about it, you know? And then it's like, hold on a second. Let's stop and think about what it was trying to say, you know? Um, and in some time, in some cases, I mean, okay, Berserk is another classic where I just remember the way the anime fucking ended there. And it's like, yeah, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's obviously not the end of the story, you know? But I just rem I do remember in college the like uh, uh, having friends that were very upset that were just like yeah this actually this show sucks I hate it yeah you know? and I remember being like ah that's I'm 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 it's a bummer that that was the conclusion because it does there is more to it um but you know it makes me feel bad is not the same as it is badly done you know ultimately. But, um, I mean, fucking that berserk is, is, is that, that's one of the most like famous traumatizing things yeah. ever, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, it's, it's, it's an understandable discussion. Um, I think of, uh, Phantom Pain when I think of like, it's one of the Metal Gear games has an ending that kind of, uh, everyone, everyone hated and, it's pretty confusing and has a whole lot of like what was the point to it mm. and then it was only afterwards like reading discussions about it and sort of like going back over points that i missed that i, I actually came to really appreciate it um and despite the fact that most people kind of think phantom pain is a wash and was like pretty not great as far as a metal gear game goes i i really really like the end of metal gear 5 um it, it you know the the villain that was built up was weak and the a lot of plot threads that seemed interesting did in fact go nowhere but the main through line of what they did try to do with uh with the snake and with big with big boss is fucking phenomenal and it's like that's a really good example to me of like the bad ending makes the entire timeline better in my opinion you know um but yeah i think uh it's a it's a discussion that you know i'm willing to have and I, I, yeah i can't really go too far into detail with it because there's yeah. you know whatever the nature of how these games go and stuff but like it's one of these bits where you know you kind of are just like yeah man sometimes life sucks it sometimes it's shitty you know sometimes it's it's not going to be all rosy and and um and it's not for nothing, you know. In this case, it's a bad conclusion that makes the past make sense, you know. Um, real good. Okay, Animorphs, I see you. Dash Zero, how you doing? Thank you for ah, oh, you grabbed your Street Fighter Six copy from the Nexus.gg page. Oh, ah. there's still some available. Huh? There you go. Yes, there is. If you haven't and you're interested in getting yourself a copy of Street Fighter Six, you can. Jump over to the nexus.gg slash Willy Versus page. Uh, it's an affiliate link we got set up. And uh, then you'll be able to join us as we all say together. Street Fighter 6! <laughs> Street Fighter 6! <laughs> say it! Street Fighter 6! Street Fighter 6! <laughs> <laughs> Stroku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I don't get to live in a world where we can say flex... You don't get to live in a world where we can say Stroku. It's not my fault that Arika <laughs> messed up. Come on. 
Fighting Lair EX. Was it so hard? Apparently so. Fucking Fexel. <laughs> so upsetting. All right. Let's get a few more in there. Okay, where were we? Flex on him, dude. Flex on him. It would have been hard. Seto Kaiba. Mail your submission nice. to the Kaiba Corporation. Winners will be handpicked by me. Then your car will be pimp? launched into space on a Kaiba Corp satellite. Because I figure if there is intelligent life out there, then let's teach him how to duel. <laughs> no way, this is just real. Okay, and then the volume blast. Jesus. Well then. Okay. Did this did the show get like Mail your submission a remastered upload or something? Or did someone do a filter pass on it? Why is this so sharp? Why is this so sharp? This is so modern. Oh. Huge, this is huge, GX. Huge, huge. Uh, okay, okay. I'm like, fuck out of here, old Yu-Gi-Oh! Used to look that sharp for an, uh, on an upload. Got it. Teaching aliens how to play cards, he said. <laughs> Anyone? Who wants to play cards? Sure, man. <laughs> Whatever we need to do to not to to get away from fucking original Yugi murdering criminals with the Millennium Puzzle. Right. Good times. Good times. Uh, we're going back in. Kaiba roasts darts. So you've got a dweeb army. Am I supposed to be scared to attack? Well, only if destroying an innocent soul concerns you. Nah. As the president of a major corporation, I have to do that every day. <laughs> oh, Edge. <laughs> oh, boy. So you've got a dweeb army. Am I Necessary supposed to be scared evil. to attack? Well, only if destroying an innocent soul concerns you. Nah. As the president of a major corporation, I have to do that every day. Oh, bars. Damn. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Was uh, was Yu-Gi-Oh... I, I think we've talked about this a couple of times, but was Yu-Gi-Oh like... Uh... You said you read the original a little bit, but did you? Did you, did, yeah. you just didn't watch, right? No, because the show. Well, it looked like a random show that I wouldn't be interested in, mm -hmm. and then I, someone that I was seeing before was like, "Oh, you should check the manga. It's it's interesting." Mm -hmm. So I did it out of. I'm remembering. I'm having memories. Together. Okay, <laughs> I'm having memories of it being on after some stuff that I watched was on, and I was just like, I don't want to watch it. Right. I, you know, I wasn't into card games at all, you know, so I just, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll see what else is on. But I uh, mean, I'm sure like the storylines must have been cleaned mm -hmm. from like what you saw on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I read stuff For like sure. where he's like immolating a criminal at a rest right. at a diner. Right, right. Did they show that in the show? I don't, I don't know. think so. I don't know that they did. <laughs> you know? But I do remember it at least the rotation of it in the in the cartoons I was watching started long it's, it was early enough that like uh it came on after stuff i wanted to watch but then that, I was, that was season zero before the actual card game started mm. okay so, so they animated that stuff wow that's wild and that came to north america you saw the the immolating scene there's a lot of murder in zero yeah that's what i saw it was never dubbed Ah, so you never saw it in America if you just looked at the English, the dub yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> they skipped it. I see why. <laughs> Is this the legendary Folgers commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is classic internet. You know this one. You've seen the... Okay, okay. Actually, hold on. Have you ever seen any hilarious Folgers commercial? Like the real ones? Yes. Yeah, I've seen a couple. And then the parodies that come from them. I don't think I've seen um, parodies from it. Or okay. at least I can't recall one. Because right. I'll tell you right now, this doesn't work unless you've seen the original it's okay. based on. Like, Folgers, quand on se lève, c'est le meilleur réveil matin. So Whoa! Oh, what's, the, what's, the, uh, what's the French version of that? Folgers, quand on se lève dans le train, c'est le meilleur réveil matin. I've never heard that. No, okay, yeah. The best part of waking up is Folgers, Folgers in a cup. cup. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. That's the English That's version. That's the English version. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, I got the French version. They translated it. That's pretty funny, man. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up a second. Let me see if I can find... I can't remember those ads. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, just don't even worry about what, what you see here. I'm going to look away. Don't worry about it. Uh... Yeah, here's the original. Okay. You got to find the original so that it all makes sense. Here we go. A sec, you roll held and tight. I'll start Folgers to brew. Mountain grown aroma coming. <laughs> Folgers aroma roasted coffee made from mountain grown beans, richly roasted and finely ground for great waking up aroma. Wait. What that aroma can do. No, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. I went too far, but back. that's not the one you want. That's not the one. Hold on, we have to keep looking. The one you're looking for is more faster pace, more a beat, right? Uh, not even. Not even. It's, there's more of a story. It's the best part of waking up. Um. Okay. Yeah, this has to be it. This has to be it. Uh, look now. Yeah. All right. I must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, real coffee. Here. I brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. Oh. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, that was cute. Mm -hmm. now, how, how are you going to ruin this for me? <laughs> uh, naive ass Reggie. <laughs> Detects nothing. I must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, coffee. Kiss here. Brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. Oh. The best part of waking <laughs> okay. up is folders in your car. See? I smelled it. He's back. Ryan, you have to leave. What? What are you guys talking about? We know what's going on here. We know you're trying to each other what no oh please brothers and sisters don't look at each other like that he sent you to west africa for a reason ryan to separate you and your sister you're crazy oh yeah what's this he's my present this year <laughs> jesus christ okay uh, we're <laughs> oh my god oh my god i'm your son and i'm in love with your daughter oh ryan what is in that box um What's in the box, Ryan? It's mine. You bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Holy shit. Emily, I love that we have so much in common because we grew up together. And I just want to wake up every morning to the smell of you and Folger's Colombian dark roast. Emily, will you make me the happiest brother? <laughs> flirting word in the corner but yes there the skit was just a continuation of that original commercial which to be fair 
It was kind of weird. To be fair, come on, dude. You know? Everyone I was like, saw that commercial and went, okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I thought they were close. I was like, I guess that's what a normal family is like. I don't know why I never had that. I, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know. But... But that's, that, like... Yeah, that's... That everyone saw that and went... <laughs> You know? <laughs> right? Okay. Meanwhile, visual novels have entered the chat. <laughs> right? Holy so, moly. Then a, ske a, ske a sketch comedy group just kind of did what everyone was thinking and took it to the natural conclusion. <laughs> the best part of waking up. Uh, Oh no! Oh, okay. Zuko and Azula at a panel. And so I think we're done. We're done. Is there a signal? We'll do one question. Anyone in charge? Anyone? Does anyone? Who's running this shit? Very, very back corner, right over there. The very back corner. That's you. You have the one who just looked behind yourself. So that was a loaded ass question asked in a loaded ass way. And as someone who's been on the opposite end of panels, I can tell you that sometimes people walk up to the mic and they, they have a softball and they just underhand it your way for those things uh -huh. to happen. And that's exactly what you, what, yeah. what, what other and what answer is supposed to like, think about the question itself. Right? In that context, what answer are you supposed to say? What would happen when you go on an adventure? With 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 whom? Right? Like just like think about any of it's just it's a pure setup. God damn it. Softball high up, sun gets in your eyes. It happens, man. It happens. It happens. It happens. I gotta finish. Cora. How many times? Reset the clock on every time Woody says, I gotta finish Korra. <laughs> Watching other things that I'm enjoying. There's an infinity of things to watch. It never stops. But I would like to, you know, conclude what happens so that I can... Then again, they just announced a season of Adult Avatar. Mm, yes. I'm looking Which is to literally that. the main thing I'm interested in watching Korra yeah. to find out. So I can kind of just, I'm like, I'm down with that. Mm -hmm. I'm super duper down with a fucking adult avatar. That sounds amazing. A movie rather. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. I want, I want to know about, about, about that. Um, okay. Ewan McGregor learns the title of Star Wars Episode 2. Attack of the Clones? That's the title. I just heard that. What I just heard the new Star Wars film's called Attack of the Clones. No. But it is. Is that better than Phantom Menace? I don't know. You do what you can, man. It's lights, camera, you know? Sure. That's not that bad. Fair reaction. I mean, we you know we we can always go Game of Thrones with it. Did you see the the Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> they fall super awkward. Or actually, I have, I always conflate two moments. There's there's her saying best season ever, and then there's the screenshot of her and Kit Harrington reading 
the table read and reacting to what happens in it for the first time and just making faces at each other like <laughs> And to me, those two go hand in hand, even though they're not the same moment. Oh. Uh, good stuff. What about um, Hamill talking about the more recent movies and just being like, Ooh. you know, just like, oh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and you can tell he's not happy about it. Like, God bless. I don't know. You can go see him in The Machine, the Burt Kreischer movie. If he's in that. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Hamill's fucking... Uh, that being said, though, I like I like for all those movies get wrong. I do like Salty Luke as like you know coming through, based on how Mark Hamill has been. <laughs> I I do like that. I I really I like tired ass Luke Skywalker as a concept for sure. Um, hit the the end of 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 uh, Force Awakens. I was like, yeah, okay, I like what you're doing there. Let's see where that goes. Um, tired ass heroes is always uh, always fun. Papa for but uh, Papa Smurfs final solution. Hey, Papa Smurf, you wanted to see me? Yes. Uh, thank you for coming, Brady. Well, you see, I was looking at today's numbers, and it seems that we did not reach our quota of Smurf berries this month by a wide margin. Ah, well, sorry, Papa Smurf. You see, Clumsy gets Clumsy Smurf knocked into the berries. Vanity Smurf was too busy looking at himself, and Greedy Smurf ate what was the left. Oh, so somebody already told you? Actually, Brady, no, that's just what always happens. Brady, I'm starting to see a trend here. Aren't you? Not really. Well, how I see it is there are very useful Smurfs. There's Hefty Smurf, Handy Smurf, and you, Brady. Oh, well, thank you, Papa. <laughs> of course, but then besides the useful Smurfs, there are the... Undesirable. Uh, for what? Rainer, you're smart enough to realize that at the rate we're going, we might not have enough Smurf berries to survive the winter. I mean, clumsy Smurf, clueless Smurf, clumsy clueless Smurf, who in hindsight should have brought this to my attention much sooner. These Smurfs do nothing but create problems for the well, others. Well, I, I guess I can talk to I'm them. We're far beyond the point of talking, Brady. Now is the time for action. Think of it as an infected arm. You love that arm. You've come to know that arm very well, but sometimes you just need to cut it off. Papa, Papa? Smurf, what are you saying? As we speak, Hansi Smurf has been working on camps that some of these Smurfs can stay at until we reorganize. Camps? My, what if they don't want to go? And what if there isn't enough room for them? Oh, Brady, this isn't a democracy. And don't worry, they won't be there for long. Papa Smurf! Oh, this is smart, Brian. I thought you were smart enough to look into the future. Affection takes sacrifice, Brady. We can be better, stronger. The Master Smurf race. Master Smurf. Papa Smurf. You've been on those Smurfing on forums, haven't you? Sure enough, Kennedy Jr. is alive, and he will be. Oh no! Oh, John F. Kennedy. I don't know. The fuck is here? <laughs> Reggie. Back in my day, Smurf memes were jumping on Newgrounds.com and having a dancing Smurf going, Papa Smurf, can I lick your ass? Yeah, lick my ass, bitch. And then it would just play over and over. I remember that. And Papa Smurf, can I lick your ass? Yeah, lick my ass, bitch. And, yeah. that, and that was literally just, it was a one frame. That was great. A one frame loop. And that was like, that's hilarious! That's a great memory you brought back to my mind. Eat, beat your ass? That's hilarious! What the fuck? That's wild! I can't- what are these- what are these Smurfs gonna get up to next, you know? That was the peak. That was it. You remember? Well... That was a long time ago. It seems. Simpler times. Hmm. Simpler times. Papa Smurf has been radicalized. <laughs> you know, back then to get the to get a laugh, the funny, the deepest laugh, chortles, just oh my god, all you needed, two lines, and the idea of of Smurf ass eating. You know, just amazing. That's all it took. And now, now <laughs> this, this is what we need to do. This is where we need to go. You know. All right.
What the fuck is going on, man? What the fuck is going on, dude? Oh, uh, like maybe it'll be normal in a few years from yeah. now. Well, I know, I know, but but no, right? Never. 